Sceptre will hop right into it as we'll see some of what's going on. King Gaming at the start of the day were in a bit of a tough spot, but then they won a Series 2-0, the one against, um, it was NIP, right? Because it was going to be them or uh, Emma NIP fighting out of the bottom. Is that the, is that, am I thinking of the right group? Um, or am I thinking of the other group? Keen, no, and I oh, uh, Keen, uh, it was against Chaos. Chaos, I mean. yes. yeah, they two owed Chaos because that was where it was like Chaos and Keen both had only one win, I believe. Um, so it was like that was the battle of the two bottom teams. That was the first game we cast today. So we've already seen Keen Gaming today with a two-zero win. Uh, we haven't actually cast Liquid yet ourselves. This will be our first time seeing them firsthand. Um, but Keen Gaming's in a much better spot since t the start of today. They're up to five. They've five got points, while Liquid wow. has uh, only four. So Keen is 4-0 and o today, right? Because they started today with one point. Yeah, not, not too bad, huh? Well, okay, and how's how's Liquid's day been? What, what's happened with them? You have some Liquid, let's Stats man check. Lacoste, putting you on the spot. Check that out. Scrolling on the phone. Day three. Yep. So Liquid, 1-1 one, one against Alliance. Okay. And they may have had a not played in the other series. And that's it. Okay. So that's their only series they played today. Well, one win against the Lions. I mean, respectable, of course. A draw, you know, you can't really. Lions <laughs> is looking good. Yeah, I, Lions. I feel like Alliance can match up against any team right here. Can take at least a game off, maybe mm -hmm. even take a 2 0. All right. So which doctor we've seen yes. uh, we've seen this opening this is the, again, after they gave away Shadow Demon it was the exact same thing in that first series and today. you can repeat what I said why did they pick Shadow Demon <laughs> I mean why did they pick which doctor into Shadow Demon uh, you it was something remember. about the, ca the cast when, when they make illusion <laughs> carries and you throw the cask and you hit the illusions I mean that was like yeah, your, if you use it defensively, your theory the crafting cask yeah. will bounce off those illusions yeah exactly. Um, that was that was suggested. I I, I mean I, I, I don't you, think you can see the pattern. There's no way they're picking Witch Doctor two times in a row after the Shadow Demon. Yeah. Well, I think Is it's it also they maybe believe it's just one of the strongest uh, five positions for them that suits them. Because often what teams will happen with teams who have like those formulaic drafts is they'll just have that five position they always pick in the first stage if it's available. Like I think it was Vici Gaming at like the majors when when they were winning them, which just kept picking Silencer every game. Tiny picked up with it. Tiny's looked good today. We saw Fnatic win two games with it in one of their series. Yeah, we've seen Tiny being um, played in uh, multiple roles. Yeah. Mostly four, but uh, we've seen some offlane Tinies, off even mid yeah. one. Well, we'll see what else they look to pair up with it. Some good burst damage to go with the Maledict. It was a max Maledict build coming out earlier today when Keen Gaming ran this hero. What did they pick up first two with the Witch Doctor that game? I don't feel like it was Tiny. Oh, there's the ET. So, ET has looked very good as far as supports go. Can be played as a 4 or a 5. Same with the Shadow Demon. They opened up with Kanka, but uh, Kanka is banned band, out. Yep. Yeah, so which Doctor Kanka was. These two supports, Shadow Demon and Elder Titan, even though Shadow Demon can be core, if you consider offlane Shadow Demon mm -hmm. a thing and the core, a lot of stuns, and these two heroes really scale in, in the late game. Mid game is amazing once you max out the air aura on the Elder Titan, Shadow Demon with the max the Soul Catcher, a lot of kill potential. Right. You remove 40% of their current HP, you remove base armor, yeah. base magic resistance. It's good stuff. Sounds like a good spell to me. Sounds like an OP spell yeah. to me. The it's <laughs> Dota. Soul Catcher. It wouldn't be a spell in Dota <laughs> if it's not a bit OP. Lacoste, come on. <laughs> this is This is a, you know... A real men and women's game. We we have OP spells here. We don't tread lightly. You know? we'll, we'll make your spell tickle people. No. Yeah. And this is a good ban. Storm Spirit, because these two don't really provide, provide that much control against these elusive heroes. Yep. They have a stun. They have a disruption. But the, like they don't have an instant stun, like a yeah. Rubik Lift, a Sanking Stun. Yeah. Something... Definitely unreliable as far as that goes. So the band of the Alchemist with it, something that can be uh, definitely played in multiple roles as far as the 1-2 goes and can cause a lot of problems. We've seen Alchemist fairly successful as far as carry go and one of the more popular ones. And on the Radiant side, even even stronger. As far as Kingo banning out 
Mind Control's Beastmaster. I'm expecting Liquid to want to play a kind of fast-paced tempo game. That's kind of the Liquid that I think a lot of people know is this very aggressive, early game oriented team. Keen Gaming picked up Phantom Assassin in both, uh, both games of the first series mm -hmm. today. They did. And PA looked pretty solid. Not necessarily like, oh, this carry that everyone should start picking up, but it, it, the way they played it, it looked decent. But at the same time, Liquid would have done their homework. They know that PA is Yeah, coming. when Keen Gaming is playing well and when they're winning, uh, all their item timings are on point. The BKBs plus another good item on a core. And they, they synergize well with those. Then go for objectives, get the Roche. Uh, it looked pretty simple Dota, at least uh, the game they played against Chaos today. So we'll see if they're going to just keep it simple and stick to their guns here. And they sure as hell will. They just pick They pick a third. They're not even waiting to fourth pick it. Uh, I don't imagine Liquid were going to contest the PA and pick it themselves. But they. It, this is, to me, them saying, we want to pick PA. And we also know that you know we're going to pick this. So we may as well pick it now um, because you're going to counter pick it regardless. And what do you counter pick a PA with? Well, any kind of... Uh Burst magical damage. She's really okay. vulnerable until she farms that uh, BKB. If she needs it, she's gonna go for the second item. Phantom Assassin is one of the few heroes that uh, wanna build into Battle Three because you wanna keep farming. And uh, I mean, she has pretty low HP overall with Shadow Demon's uh, second yeah. ability. It, it's really easy to burst her down. Do you prefer seeing carries that look to like match the PA's farm or out farm her, like? Because PA is going to go Battle Fear, or do you want to see carries that like punish early and go like aggressive against it? Well, I mean, Phantom Assassin can be kited in the later stages of the game once the BKB drops. So, but you also want to have an insurance in the late game. You don't want to go everything in the early game. And they picked the, the low cooldown stun, the Sang, mm -hmm. even though there's still Ember Spirit in the pool. If uh, Someone wants to go for it. Uh, feels like uh, Ember could, Spirit yeah. is uh, really hot stuff Five right now. And, th and it's been like that for a while. Yeah, absolutely. What is Keen Gaming going to go for? Are they going to consider that? They likely want to last pick their mid, but at the same time, you never know for sure. Teams have We've seen a lot of last picks in offlaners and fours even. Since they don't have... Oh, Keen Gaming actually has the last pick. Never mind. Yeah. And uh, they're going to get Pengo. So they will be last picking their mid. It's going to be a tiny Pengo... 3-4. Um, don't know which... Do you prefer either of those as the core hero? They're going to decide. They probably have an idea, but uh, they will see what the Team Liquid has since they have the last pick, and then they will decide okay. what's, what's better. Do they need a faster Blink Dagger on Tiny, or will they give farm priority to Pangolier? Yeah. Pango gives them some good team fight, something that kind of lacking with their first three picks. Tiny's like your burst, same with I mean, Witch Doctor's your five. Uh, but Pango now with the Rolling Thunder gives that nice ultimate to play around. Also a hero that has a pretty annoying escape spell to deal with. So we'll see what Team Liquid now look to get as their fourth, fifth pick. Looking for both Weeha and Miracle's hero. Weeha's got that kind of cheesy hero pool. Yeah, it's not a bad Wind Ranger game to start with. TA as well, another one of his his heroes. TA, Wind Ranger, Meepo, like you know, there's most people know the the Weeha pool pretty well, but at the same time, every now and then something a bit unexpected can come out as well. Yeah, there's no good overtime damage on their side, besides yep. uh, Avalanche. You know what we saw in one of the other games, Underlord mid versus TA. That was the uh, Navi, remaining. right? Navi yeah, against, Navi uh, against one of the RNG. Yeah, RNG. Yeah. They RNG won that game. It was it was a close game though. It wasn't like they it looked like the Underlord was like the most farmed hero on their team though and was doing surprising surprisingly well, so I wonder if that's something <laughs> that any other teams have in their toolbook. Yeah, and as you mentioned, Team Liquid, the the team that plays uh, fast, early game oriented, Templar Assassin, the hero that easily snowballs, takes objectives, you have a good vision, can always uh, go for Roche, and they've been a bat rider, so they were afraid that uh, they will put the Batrider ah. on mid against the Templar Assassin because they don't have uh, True. much overtime damage, as we already discussed. Yep, we've seen Batrider go mid and actually destroy TAs. It's such a hard matchup for a TA to play. Once those Napalm stacks come in, you're just going to get Dovat, and you need supports constantly sitting behind you to stop that from happening. 
So Team Liquid going to be looking for miracles here and now. The carry of choice, what's it going to be? Life still a band out. He's played some Leshrac as well today. Uh, released this tournament and something a little bit different is on the cards. Bold prediction the cost. Both of these teams still uh, kind of limited on uh, stuns and silences, mm -hmm. so I, I would not mind to see Ember Spirit on either okay. of these teams. Also, yeah. Queen of Pain looking uh, okayish for Keen Gaming mm -hmm. against the Templar Assassin. It's a good matchup. You only need to have a Sentry on a mid lane. Whoa! Wait a second. Carry Shaker. Is that a carry shaker or is it? Is I want to say it's carry a carry elder shaker. titan. Do, so <laughs> earth shaker, the enchant totem pierces evasion. Yes. Yeah, can't miss. Does make shaker as a core maybe a possibility, playing into the PA. That's one option in Team Liquid, with a bit of a surprise pick here. I feel. And you are playing Shaker into two melee heroes in lane if it is a safe lane Shaker. I mean, whether it's ET or Shaker, you're up against, like, Tiny Pango, which it feels pretty good to play against melee heroes when you're a Shaker. It's definitely a good Shaker game to start with. As you mentioned, three melee heroes, Enchant Totem can't uh, miss. So that's the Piercing Evasion. Templar Assassin uh, kind of struggles uh, until she she's the hero that always pretty much gets a death. So BKB Blink Dagger, then you can buy into a different kind of an item, either an MKB or you just uh, get a full Daedalus. Well, we'll see what King Gaming can <laughs> response. I imagine they were not ready for a Shaker carry. Uh, assuming it even is one. There obviously is some question marks around they this hero. a hero that creates the space for Phantom Assassin so she can farm. I still yeah. think uh, Queen of Pain is decent well. since you're playing against the three melees and the Templar Assassin is kind of half melee mm. until she maxes it out. Mention the Ember as well. Um, they don't really have any heroes to buy things like the pipe, and I feel like there's a lot of magic damage on Team Liquid in this team fight. So getting one of those like Pango can heroes. buy it if it's a core Pango. Okay, that's true. Magnus. So who's uh, going mid? That's it's going to be tiny, tiny mid. Yeah, yeah. Matt, there All right. we go. And empower PA Mag PA. Here we go. That's also a classic. And we'll see Miracle pick up the Earthshaker. So offlane, Magnus, four position, Kaka, Pengalier. Very interesting draft coming out from both the two teams here. It's going to be interesting seeing Tiny with Empower. If he, if it comes to that, when he gets the Aghanim Scepter, he can team wipe them. <laughs> if Mag lands a good RP. I'm, I'm not even kidding. He can actually get oh. a solo Rampage by throwing a three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to see the, the, the good old tree volley. It's such a, a fun, silly Aghanim's upgrade. I, I don't like the mag as the last pick because you are basically have four melee heroes right now against the Urchaker, yeah. against the Saint, even Elder Titan. So he's going to be in there removing your base armor with uh, with his hero. And you're only non-melee heroes. You're five positions, so you're not really expecting Dark to contribute much as you're only ranged. Oh, well, we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> Dude, what's up? What's what's this TA set? Is that I've never seen this one before. Is that some? I don't know. I, <laughs> all all TA sets to me look kind of the same. <laughs> that one looked very different. That's why I think I noticed. I was like, what the hell's going on with this TA? Oh, we won't see it up close here. But here we go. Liquid Miracle playing the Earth Shaker. MVP in seven of his last twenty matches. That's a pretty good MVP rate, if you ask me. Do you get MVP very often in your pub games, Lacoste? Yeah, I beg people to vote for for me. So, And and for commands as well, so my behavior score goes up. You need every point I'm of behavior. I'm at 10,000 10, oh, 10, right yeah. now. Nice, nice. That's why I like to hear. Sometimes, right? uh, if you're muted, you uh, don't. You, I mean, you can't beg, so you just uh, command them. I wouldn't know. I don't, I don't get muted. You don't get muted. No. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> never, never been there before. <laughs> I'm a mana Dota player. Yeah. We're we're a special breed. But no, I don't get many MVPs. I don't know why that is. Uh, I mean, there's a logical explanation. <laughs> I don't play well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that makes too much sense to cost. God damn it. Uh, oh, dear. 
I also don't. We also don't win. We only play with like Owen and Chiever. We don't win very often, so we don't get a chance to get MVP. Yeah, you check your uh, <laughs> win ratio with uh, Owen. What was it? It was forty like, percent. It was like minus ten. So I think it was like forty-five percent. We were in the negatives. Uh, not my most successful pub teammate. Yeah, maybe the reason you're losing is because he doesn't skill hook and pudge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how we play moment for that one. All those losses. It's that's the Dota mentality. It's not my fault. It's my team's fault. It's the beauty of playing a, a team game is that you have people to blame. Yeah, I like your mentality. Acting like you don't know why you're not getting any MVPs. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> Here we go. Fight for the banner room down bottom. GH has plus 20 damage. Didn't hit that many people with the spirit, and it will be King Gaming. Securing the banner room to start things off. This Astral Spirit is going to give a lot of bonus damage. They're going to get the first spot on the Witch Doctor. GH with all that right click and mind control getting out of there. GH plus 20 damage only, but it's adding up. Mind Control's got another stun in a few seconds, but it doesn't look like he'll get close enough. Kuro with that disruption, 10 seconds away. Nah, no point to chase. No. He will have a swashbuckle. This is the problem when you play position 4 Pangolier. Uh, you get harassed, uh, you only buy 3 tangos because you go for Stout Shield and Orb of Phantom. Someone pulled him uh, a tango, but th you can't really trade that much in the lane. Mm -hmm. And you want to get that Javelin as fast as possible. So, getting the Bounty Runes, uh, 1, 2... Actually, three, three four, out of four. Keen game. That, that, yeah. That's uh, really worth it because you want to get that javelin as fast as possible. Also, go for bounty runes on minute five. Don't buy anything. Maybe you buy a magic stick if you're playing against a tri lane. Okay. Other than that, you don't get the items on Pango. Yeah. Just want to rush the javelin. He will be going top here, it looks like. So they want to pressure Miracle on that Shaker. Currently solo up here in a 1v1 against Magnus, but I imagine Pango's just going to look to do some harass here and there as well as go for some side pulls. Instantly swashbuckles in. Harasses Miracle, who's only got the five Tangos to play around with. He also bought something. Nope. But I think the the big thing about coming up here is going to be, yeah, just having this side pull to play with Kaka. As that Dark Troll oh, gets a couple of creeps, doesn't get the full wave, but he'll be happy with that regardless, and instantly goes back in for more Harass. A bottom lane, they body blocked him, also used the Illusions. Yeah. Can he get out? Quelling Blade plus Tango. Chicken looks okay here, still level 1, and he's going to be another Power Strike, so the right click should be enough, or he's just going to turn and throw a dagger under the tower. Mind Control takes a tower shot, but not enough to get that kill. I so think Pango needs to go back bottom. Like, he can check the hmm. rune right now and uh, come back bottom. Just leave Mag in the 1 versus 1 scenario. That's kind of how they started. It seems Liquid are content to not even help out Miracle. They know that without Pango bottom, they can just keep on bullying. Speaking of some bullying, this mid-Tiny is having a fantastic time. 11-7 against 4-0. Tiny's crushing it. Also, he just picked up a bottle. Also a haste in the in the bottle. Dark dies. Oh. But they get a oh, they get top. Miracle. Oh, okay. Maybe Kaka's time up top worth it. And if there's a player ever to shut down with Liquid, I do feel like Miracle is top of that list. And look! Oh, Snipes a courier with the haste rune. That's actually so big. You also want to give your kills to Pangolier. You want to get him as fast as possible to that javelin once again, as we said it multiple times. Yep. Kaka, he doesn't know whether he wants to go mid. Do I go top again? It's an easy kill if they stay. Miracle, two points in Aftershock. ET just going to suicide down bottom of the tier 2 tower just to try and reset this bottom lane a little bit as he was low in health and mana. Back at top, he's going to TP in. Miracle's in some trouble, but here comes GH right after respawning. And it's got plus 55 damage, double damage ET. Watch out for this fella, but they are trading hits with that lucky shot. They have got the disarm to make that a little bit easier for themselves. And three lanes kind of being won by Keen Gaming. Looking at the CS right now, they may be down a kill, but they are up on gold. Out farming Liquid in every single lane. Yi playing an amazing mid tiny as well. Just going in for these Avatos combos, and he's gonna actually maybe get this kill. There's no refraction up. One he more right click. Speed. Yeah, he's got the boots advantage. We has not got mana for refraction. He just turns. He goes for the meld though. Comes out of the meld. The toss is there, and he think he knew he was gonna die. He buys his items. Doesn't lose any any gold. So he gets the solo kill, and we only got 150 gold for it. No XP for V though. Witch Doctor in a bit of trouble. Here comes Kaka. He died top lane and he's going to instantly TP back in. Mind Control's chasing for this. Hasn't got boots though. Can't get the kill. And instead it's Kuroki going down to the Phantom Assassin Daggers. Mind Control was hit by the Maledict, but it has worn off now and has the sick charges. So a lot of action in all three lanes. 
It was GH who killed Kaka top while the mid 1v1 exchange happened, and then instantly Kaka TP's bottom to salvage the bottom lane. Tiny with complete rune control. That's a big part of his mid lane dominance, having all these runes. And they're not stopping. Every single time you kill a Templar Assassin, you're doing so much more than killing a normal hero. Not maybe at this point of the game, but uh, after the seven, eight minute mark where she just flash farms with the side blades. Yep. Bounty rune spawning in 15 seconds. Yeah, it looks like uh, Liquid are trying to push out this bottom lane so they can secure them, but Kaka is already on the other side trying to grab the enemy one. Kuro has disruption in a couple of seconds, so he should be able to secure this one. Mon Magnus up top, very low on health, and it looks like Liquid will get themselves three bounty runes. Can Mind Control get out? Has a power strike. Should be okay here. Yeah, old Eleven got very low on health up top. He's getting his favorite item. He loves this Helm of the Dominator. Every single game I see old Eleven, he's buying Helm of the Dominator. Yeah, he played Abaddon and... Uh, what was the other hero? Also again, um, Beastmaster. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's... It's not exactly a common item on either of those two heroes these days anymore. It's just not a common item, period. As mid lane, we will see a disruption. They want to go in this Tiny, but he's got an Invis rune. I believe they should have seen that one. Tiny's just going to turn and kill off GH. That's a big misplay from Liquid to go for that kill when he had an Invis rune. And Tiny's tanky. He has a Magic Wand, also a lot of strength gain. So at level 6, he's sitting at almost 1300 HP. Very surprising misplay there. And that's really exactly what it was. It's no surprise, or it shouldn't be, that he had an Invis rune. Have you seen uh, this in a game where Vici played? When Faceless Void was left alone against the Sanking, so he bought the Ring of Health and then upgraded it to Battle Fury. It's not a common pickup on uh, Void oh, yeah. anymore. I, I guess that's the same thinking what Magnus is doing right now. Like, I get this Ring of Health every single time I get close, I will get harassed, use the Enchant Totem, three points in Aftershock. Other than that, he's gonna be full HP. Yep. And he's going to not turn it into a Battle Fury, but turn it into yeah. a handy-dandy <laughs> Helm the Dominator. Not a fan of the Battle Fury, Magnus? Lacoste? Battle Fury, Echo Saber, Ooh. Daedalus, Hello. Echo Slam. Miracle says, thanks for the freebie. Well, catches him by surprise with that level 6 Echo Slam, and that's a free kill. That's a big kill as well. 500 gold swing just off of that. And TA's got stacks to fall back to, so some good farm that Liquid has back in their jungle now as well. What's Kuro up to? On a warding mission. I think they have an idea that he might be doing this, so Dark is running around scouting him. He finds Kuro now, so probably knows that there's a ward somewhere around this area. And he doesn't look like he's going to chase down Kuro. It's just not worth your time when he can juke, especially when he has vision of you. He's almost certainly going to juke you. But the question is, does Dark know where that ward was planted? Shaker, double bracer. Is there a better build on strength heroes than double bracer? I can't think of one. It's and you can't. No, there, there really isn't the cost. Unkillable. Until we cast the curse in. But how are we looking elsewhere? PA, just trying to get those face boots, has hit level six now. And it will be Kaka having a completed javelin on the Pengo. That's the timing you talked about. You really want to get that javelin as fast as possible, and we'll see what he can do on the map now. He's really low on HP. There's the javelin proc, and the lucky shot. Kuro has the invis. Yeah, Tiny goes in, though, and there's an Avatos combo. They just completely delete him. They broke his refraction with the help of the Pengo, and Weeha is having a rough time. Kuro will get a revenge kill, it looks like. With the help of that Soul Catcher. Two points in the Soul Catcher. Finds the kill. Oh, Tiny just TP top. They want to get a kill on Shaker. Toss into RP. There's oh, no he doesn't. Here. Okay, he's saving a point. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's the RP to start things off. Yi follows up with an Avatos. They kill off Miracle. Another kill for this Tiny. So active early on. And this frees up the mid lane for Kaka, who's very happy to get some experience here. Tries to swashbuckle away, but gets slept up in the TA trap slow. Kaka's in trouble. He's going to swashbuckle in two seconds, but he's not going to get out in time. That's a dead buckle. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, a lot of action happening. <laughs> Kuro, he used his combo here. And I'm not sure what exactly happened, but it looks like Liquid got aggressive and it did not work. Epicenter's on cooldown, so they went in looking for kills and it backfired, as instead it's Old Chicken getting the kill. They didn't chase Shadow Demon. Here comes Miracle. 
Level 1 Fissure only, but that might be enough to get a kill, at least on this Witch Doctor. GH is taking damage with this Maledict. Level 2 Maledict. He's got stick charges. This is going to be close-ish, but he'll He's be fine. fine. Yeah. It's only level 2 Maledict. Meanwhile, on the mid lane, TA putting some pressure on the tower with the Blightstone, gets disarmed. Kaka's playing so aggressive using that Swashbuckle. <laughs> Seriously. It's a long cooldown, only level 2 and has no boots. Oh, meanwhile, 11. Clearing mm. up the jungle stacks. Juicy. Stop the TA getting this farm. TA did already farm this big camp here, but they just know it's kind of like the Alchemist thing, not to the same extreme, but even just farming and taking away from the TA can be really nice. Will they go for this big camp as well? They are pinging it. They have got the dominated center as well, but we are already having completed farming it, so they won't be able to contest it. Bounty runes. No. And Vege Doctor has a lot of gold. He bought uh, two tomes. Pango definitely needs one. It's not gonna even get him to level six. Yeah, Witch Doctor got to eat one of them, not the two, as gives one to the Pango. So double tome and both those supports still just level five. Not the end of the world by any means. They already took the tier one tower on top. If somehow they can grab the tier one tower kill on mid with the siege catapult, it, yep. it cripples TA so much because you have the entrance to her jungle. There's gonna be stacks. But she's now farming the Ancients, also a couple of stacks there. We have an idea of where this PA is with that Dire Observer Ward, but... Old Chicken popping the blur just to make sure he's going to stay nice and safe here. Tiny. They have roots. Freshly bought Blink Dagger. Yeah. That should be a kill. Miracle was not expecting that one. Doesn't get a chance to use a single spell, and PA goes in. Old Chicken jumps on Kuro. Offensive Disruption used to try and get Kuro out of here, but there's another toss in a few seconds. Blink on cooldown, but I don't think that matters. Toss is coming. There's the dagger. There's the toss, and that's going to be an easy kill. Double kill for Yi. Yi level ten already. He's crushing it. This tiny five one and one. The only death he has was when he got a kill by diving mid. Kaka top. Tanks in. Epicenter. There's a swashbuckle away, and Kaka. He can maybe just go for a TP out. Yeah, he uses the shield crash TP. He'll be fine. For a moment, I thought that he's not going to make it. Meanwhile, they're giving uh, some levels and. Uh, a lane for Witch Doctor to farm his boots. Mm -hmm. Also, if this game drags uh, this Pangle here, he's gonna become a core because you have a Javelin. If they use Empower on him, he actually deals a lot of right click damage. Oh, for sure. That's something to, to look forward to if we do get into that late game. Magnus now. It's level 10, so old 11 also having a good time. Went back for a Sol Ring, now has the Blink Dagger queued up. Max in power, so he should be at least. I feel like playing a. He's a core, so he doesn't want to always play near his PA, but PA would benefit so much from this in power as far as farming goes. And that means we also don't have to see this Battle Fury on PA since Magnus is in the game. Yeah, she can afford to go for different kind of items. Looks like that. He can also empower his creep and farm, farm one of the lanes. Yep. There we go. Blink toss. Rolling. Thunder coming in. Oh, Kaka. Where you going, Kaka? Oof. Fights this way. I think Kaka realizes, well, uh, you know, I've head the wrong direction. Old 11, I'm sorry, my friend. Just try and get the hell out of there. Screw us all on cooldown, but here comes Tiny back in with the Blink Dagger, and they delete GH. He didn't have a chance to do a thing. That was just a bait ulti yeah. from Kaka. So that this can happen mid lane. Mm -hmm. Needs maybe a third hero here. Well, actually, with the Maledict, they probably could have found that kill if they had detection. Which Witch Doctor did have on the sentry, so good thing for Weehai is he did not push his hero to the limit and try and go for that tier 1 mid tower. Even without Empower, Phantom Assassin is still on top of net worth. 11. Gets Echo Slam. There's an RP. He doesn't want to go for it. Goes for the skew out instead. 11. Still taking some damage here. No points in the Cossack finale, but Mind Control has another stun soon and will find the kill. He had mana. no mana. Yeah. Unfortunate for the poor old 11. Back at mid, Kaka, very low on health. Just gonna throw out a swashbuckle, and here comes the PA. Just trying to bully Wii out of this lane. And there's a Desolator completed, so 13 and a half minutes in. Good timing on the TA Deso. Liquid wants to smoke. They're not under any vision. They can go for a kill into Roche play. Yeah, where are they headed? To the enemy jungle here. They drop down the ward on the high ground. They wait to see what they can find. Here comes Yeet once again. Blink. <laughs> Making sure that nothing fishing's going on. And uh oh. 
Kaka, he's just thrown away his own life by swashbuckling in. Not what he should have been doing there. As... Yeah, it seems like they're not on the same page, at least in this gank. Tiny tosses one of the heroes back. Kaka still decides to go in. And the Earthshaker, no need for a Blink Dagger, at least early on. You just tank it up. He has 2,000 HP. Pretty hard to take down at the moment. He went for that RP, I think. The second one, I don't think he was actually going to cancel. But Miracle cancelled it for him. He used. The, he wanted to use RP, but uh, turned around so that Earthshaker is already facing the yeah. direction to the tower so he can skewer more easily. Oh. Otherwise, he, he would have just RP'd. As, as a result, no kill for Keen Gaming. Pretty even game as far as the farm status goes between the two teams. Not much separating them as we will see Bounty Runes coming up. Miracle's going for this one. There's the RP. The sleep comes in. The Bounty Rune was claimed. And can they get Miracle? He's been maledicted up. Is there going to be follow-up damage for this Malik? Doesn't look like it. The Death Ward with no mana for it, so he couldn't actually go for it. Instead, they're going to go for Kuro. Blinking in his old chicken. Whoa, that Soul Catcher combined with the ET. That amplification is absolutely insane. PA just gets deleted. And it's only level 1 natural order while Kuro is... Uh, Maxing the Soul Catcher, four points in it. Well, yeah, we talked about it during the pick phase. PA is not the hero with the highest uh, strength gain in the game. Once you remove the 40% when she's full HP, she, she just actually dies. Yeah, this PA just needs to maybe hit the gym and bulk up a little bit, find some creeps and play for this BKB timing, which has been queued up as the next item. You've got that Magnus in power. Feels more like time to go for some farm. And uh, Dark placing a center ward. Also, this they're standing on an observer ward. He knows something is up. Oh, what a rune. Region. Well, you'll be happy about that one. Back at bottom, Miracle still just trying to finish off his Aghanim Scepter. Getting closer and closer. That's going to be a very big item pickup for him. Setting up a sentry near the Roche pit. Uh, much of a value when you're playing against the TA. She also has a Blink Dagger right now, so they want to grab a kill. Yep. Phantom Assassin, she... Oh. Well, she just used Blur. Oh, they blink behind. They should still be able to go in Old Chicken. They're fishing around for a Mind Control has the bar strike. Well, they go for the Epsan. Doesn't look like he needs it, but there's just no one to blink out to. Old Chicken's in all sorts of trouble. He just respawned. He's going to buy the BKB pieces so he doesn't lose too much gold here, but he gets the blink out. Can he survive? Nope. The Demonic Purge damage is enough to finish him off. Doesn't lose any gold, but he loses a lot of gold because... He's dead, and he's not farming, and you're a PA. That's what you need to be doing right now. Playing uh, without the Empower a lot as well, which is making him just farm that little bit slower and putting him in a lot more danger. That's the there's the difference between position 4 mag and position 3. When you're playing 3, you want to get the items on yourself, get that Blink Dagger up. Uh, he's really close to it. They should try to get a fight, uh, but... You see, because Phantom Assassin was not uh, farming with that Empower, she does not have a BKB right now. Like, the perfect timing would be both BKB and the Blink Dagger on Mag. Yeah. There's going to be a tiny Echo Saber, so maybe you've got a different Empower target if you do go for a bit of a play right now. You can have the PA farming while the other four heroes look to fight. And there we go, right when the PA respawns. This time around, I think Old Chicken's like, come on, dude, I need an Empower. Hit me up. At the same time, there's also not many jungle camps left uh, to be claimed. So PA continuing to just try and work towards that BKB as the Blink Dagger is coming out on the Courier with some sentries. Team Liquid playing around this top side of the map. I've got that Aghanim Scepter back at base, so Shaker doesn't have it right now. And he may regret not having it. The Haste Rune, old 11. Goes for the RP. Where's the fault? They need more stuns here. They need to burst him here, and they've got the Tiny, so they should have the damage, and... He's really tanky, a yeah. lot of strength, but the uh, key... Epicenter, Barra Strike, yeah. Mind Control's going in for this kill, but they do not have any follow-up. Old Chicken, I think he makes the call just to get the hell out. He cannot afford to die. He's just died twice back-to-back. -back. It's got to be... It's got to be farm time for the PA, you know? You can tell the rest of your team, you guys fight if you want to, but I am not taking part in any action. Kin Gaming does not have RP right now. PA getting closer to her BKB, so it's just a farm time. Tiny plus one can pretty much kill anyone on the map uh, besides this Earthshaker. Templar Assassin working towards her BKB. Also level 17, but they're doing a good job just keeping this uh, tier 1 tower on mid alive. Oh ye, he gets out barely on the bottom lane. 
Well, Liquid themselves, their BKB timing with the TA is something to look out for. So both teams likely to have these BKBs at similar-ish times. The TA will be a little bit behind the Phantom Assassin. And Keen Gaming have some tools to pierce it with the RP. Liquid will gladly take this fight. Earthshaker has that freshly bought Aghanim Scepter plus a haste in the bottle. There's the BKB. PA ready to go. And with this BKB advantage, they may look to fight. RP still on cooldown for 35 yeah. seconds. Perhaps this could catch Liquid by surprise because of that, though. And actually, they're going to jump on the PA. She has BKB. It looks like Miracle's just trying to bait it out. He pops the haste rune. Looking to fly in as elsewhere, it's actually Dark going down. There's a big fight breaking out around the Shrine here. The Rolling Thunder has gone rolling on through. They've taken out the Sanking. Here comes Miracle from behind, wants this Tiny. And with the ET Earth Splitter, they're going to get it. Kaka's TP out is successful. Miracle was just a split second too late there with the Fissure. But Liquid with that uh, Aghanim Scepter on Earthshaker, they're really strong right now. Uh, Ideally, if they killed one more hero, they would transition that into Roche easily with Enchant Totem and uh, Deso on Templar Assassin. Not quite the outcome they're hoping for. Banneroon's still there at bottom lane. GH is going to find one of them. We'll see if he gets both. Yeah, he looks like he will figure out that, hey, it's safe. I've got two bounty runes. And he's going for a BKB of his own. BKB is the name of the game in this game. Removing the basic armor with the uh, ET aura will be crucial in the mid-game fights. You have Templar Assassin, and you have this Earthshaker, which Enchant Totem. He deals 700 damage per hit. Yeah, that is insane. If you look at a hero like PA, who has such high base armor being removed, that is going to be absolutely crushing. There are heroes like uh, Tiny where it is bonus armor, so that doesn't get reduced right when it's the, the plus armor for Tiny. Uh, say it again? The pl the bonus armor from Tiny won't get reduced because it's only yeah. the base armor reduction. Yes. So at least someone like Tiny is not as concerned about that aura. The, the, the ar minus armor one, that is. Tweet. Blinks out. Good fast reactions. That would have been potentially problematic for him. Microdol actually blinks in there, but there's an immediate dust. He's going to pay the price for it. Kaka's bouncing around the BKB from Weha just arriving on the Courier. Kaka, he's going to run for the hills. He's got a TP, though, so he should be fine here as TA. Weha looking to use his BKB. Old 11, 11. Does gets completely deleted. Didn't want to go for an RP. And Old Chicken, he's BKB, but he needs an escape. He goes for a blink strike. Can he TP out? Yes, he can. Wow, those side blades from V. Hitting Mag and... I'm gonna call it accidentally killing a witch doctor. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, that's a that's an extra kill for him. He should not have hesitated there. Just RP because uh, yeah. Templar Assassin already used a lot of duration of BKB to try to chase down the Bangalier who just rolled away. Even if you don't kill TA, just stop her from killing your team. You've got to kite that BKB with RP. But end result is going to be an Aegis claimed, and Weha TA picks that one up. And it looks like Pengo Society, he had an MKB queued up, but now swaps over to a mech. Pengo? No. <laughs> I mean, he needs to buy the tanky items. Yeah. Somebody has to, at least for this team, getting like either mech, greaves, or a crimson guard, something to block some of this damage coming out. Things will settle down here, and it is Liquid with a 4k gold lead. Despite effectively losing the laning stage, all three lanes were at least slightly won by Keen Gaming. Liquid's managed to bounce back with just some good, efficient farming of the jungle, as well as taking a good couple of team fights. Right now, Earthshaker, 800 damage per hit with the critical strike. Not bad, not bad at all. That does, should be like 1.3, 1 1.4 crits. They want to force out this old chicken BKB. Gets the slow. Here comes ET, and that's going to force a BKB TP. Job well done. That's what Weha wanted. Down to just eight seconds now. Do you manage to get a D ward in Kaka? What happened there? He just got deleted. Tiny in trouble. That Soul Catcher just removing a third of his health. Absolutely devastating stuff if they can burst him down before this comes back. And Miracle rocks up to the party. Gets another kill. They're just picking King Gaming apart one by one. Punishing them for 
kind of their mistakes, but also just great aggression from Team Fish Liquid. Hurt. Can he block him off? Yep. Here comes Sanking over in the trees. Old 11, he's the target, and Miracle's just on the high ground. This Earthshaker is just so tanky right now, and Dark can do nothing about it. Miracle finishes him off with the Aftershock damage only. Yep. This is where Team Liquid's lineup is extremely strong. They have Aegis, this is what you want to have when you're playing a Templar Assassin. She hits level 20, and now it's time to go. Still have almost three minutes on that Aegis. Well, getting kills, are they getting towers? They are putting Keen Gaming on the back foot, and I think Keen Gaming just have to settle down and wait for this Aegis to expire at this point. They've lost so much during this last five minutes of the game. Looking on car rolling, he wants to pick up the bounties. We'll find the Kuroki and just keep his out. It's oh, one way to go for bounty rune safely. That's a full MKB on. No, he actually decides to go for Orchid. Well, wants the Bloodthorn, I guess, yeah. instead. Well, you need some kind of item that uh, pierces through PAs. Evasion will take down the tier 1 tower on top easily. No chance that Keen Gaming will defend that one. Keen Gaming are playing around this bottom tier 1 tower though. Not exactly an important tower or one that Liquid cares to defend for its its value, but they may want to defend it because they can get kills and take a fight. ET rocks up, throws out a spirit, basically threatening to say, if I hit a stun, my teammates may just rock up here. Right now, Liquid with a lot of control over this game. Good vision around the map. Keeping King Gaming forced to play together as five, and King Gaming just falling further and further behind, it feels like, in farm. The Helm of the Dominator not really paying off at this moment. If it was, let's say, a mech uh, a bit earlier, maybe even a Crimson Here we card. go. Miracle goes in. He has the Echo Slam. Doesn't want to go for it. He may get punished. He needs an out. Doesn't have the vision right away, needs a dagger. He does not have an Aegis. Miracle, he gets hit by the Avalanche. He gets out of it just in time. Now he's looking to turn him away. Trap. Yeah, he's going to be A-OK. -okay and, oh, hold 11 elsewhere. This is this is such a split game from both teams. Miracle's like going for solo kills while his team's finding stragglers and killing off the Magnus. He's playing really aggressive. 2.6k HP when the power treads are on strength. Pretty hard to take down. Oh yeah. 35 magical resistance on top of that because of the extra strength. I imagine he was just blinking and testing. Like if he got a crit there, maybe he goes for that kill with the totem crit. Because he did have Echo Slam and chose not to use it. That's for GH getting close and close to that BKB. Getting a BKB on Elder Titan will allow him to stand in front of the lines and removing that base armor instead of just playing around the spirit and the removing the magic resist. Smoke up behind the PA, but they're going to lead the charge forward. What can they do? Tiny was involved in so many kills early on. And now Yi needs to find something. Has a BKB. Oh, look at that courier. Up. They don't have enough space in the base. On the Dire like, Courier? Yeah. 10,000 worth of what items on that man. courier. Whew. They even had to drop some There's items a on the floor. Tome of Knowledge, yeah, and a TP scroll. Not everyone is going to be happy about the stats of that courier. Efficient courier usage, I guess you could say, when you've got nine items on it. Well, if it was a courier with uh, any kind of cosmetics, he, he could have made it, but the, the donkey, it's a no. <laughs> Oh, poor Donkey. He didn't get the career. GH. Poor GH didn't get his items out. But yeah, full Bloodthorn on Templar Assassin. And the smoke from King Gaming doesn't really amount to a whole lot. They were trying to make that move with the Aegis expired, but Team Liquid seemed ready and prepared for it. Mind Control is hunting. We'll see Kaka. Follow up. Bloodthorn is there, but he immediately uses as well. Jeez, he gets deleted. They stack the Yules and the Bloodthorn there, but it doesn't really matter. I think Mind Controlling to make sure he doesn't swashbuckle away. Miracle. Blanks in with Totem. Puts a, an Observer Ward, but they're already prepared. Center Ward standing there for any traps, any Observer Wards. Yep. 
is the play. Liquid don't really have the best ability to break high ground right now, and they'd much prefer to get an Aegis in their hands before they go for any kind of a high ground push, but it's a full minute before Roshan could even possibly respawn. When you have Templar Assassin in your team, you know that hero will fall off eventually in the super late game, even though with the Moon Shards, uh, Aghanim Scepter upgrades, uh, it gets easier. Also, her talents got reworked, but uh, with the first Roche, you want to build up advantage and try to finish the game with the second Aegis and uh, Cheese. Yep. Roche uh, may respawn in 50 seconds. Bounty Ruins also spawning in 10. Oh. Let's see. Liquid themselves smoking up, looking to loop around. They know these bounty runes coming up. They want to take this fight. Mind Control blinks in, finds stun on Kaka. The full up stun isn't there, so Kaka may get a chance to get out of this one. Nice RP on the back lines. The PA follow up isn't there immediately. It's Tiny coming on in with his BKB. They've lost Magnus, so Kuro with the defensive disruption managed to stay alive. The PA dagger will finish him off though. Old Chicken, what's he gonna do? He's blinks in, has a BKB still, he's holding on to it. Old Chicken wants to get GH here. That banner is still just sitting on the ground, and Weeha with the BKB takes out one. Weeha's just the leading King Gaming one by one. Old Chicken may have killed off some of the backlines, but he's forced to go for a TP out. BKB and TP out. Ooh. Wow, good RP with the follow up, but uh, not enough damage. Also, once again, Kaka caught out of the position, and uh, I was actually wrong. Tiny. Uh, We'll see it again he actually here. removes the armor, the extra armor that he gets from ulti. Oh, okay. Uh, I was looking at it. So even He's though it's sitting at the two armor, even though it's kind of bonus armor, but it's actually not a bonus. It armor. literally says in the spell bonus armor, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. And then ET spell literally says base armor reduction, but no, it it, it removes it. Okay, good to know. Sometimes we have to lie so that we can. Uh, Look smarter later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've lost all our viewers' trust. Oh, no. They're not going to believe a thing we say anymore, Lacoste. Why'd you do this? <laughs> That's just classic Dota 2 things. There's, there's always exceptions to the rule. Not that there are any rules when it comes to Dota 2. Liquid were on their re receiving end of a unfortunate mechanic with the TB Sunder in one of their yesterday matches. <laughs> That's always a fun one. That's one that's been there for a little while, but it's <laughs> not every mechanic in Dota is always the most logical. A beautiful, chaotic game it yeah. can be. Big spawn on Roche. Now it will take a minute and 20. Liquid smokes in. They want to yeah. scout things out. TA's hit 25. That meld bash now. And they have an idea that Old 11's up here. Old 11 blinks backwards, but he's going to blink right into the waiting arms of Team Liquid. Cops a big hit from Miracle, yeah. and that's a dead mag. Also with level 20 talent, Mel dispels. He can uh, remove the lucky shot. That, that's ah, the big that's one. that's what he's Even though for. Kaka is dying uh, pretty much before the fight even starts. Yeah. I was looking around wondering what he's trying to dispel from that one. Like, is that a PA dagger slow, or what's he after? But yeah, the lucky shot. You can't dispel off Maledict, which is, uh, that's undispellable, but it's one of the other stuff. So Roshan, luckily for Keen Gaming, is going to be after the Magnus' respawn, as much as Liquid would have loved to have seen an early Roshan so they could get that while Mag was dead. Not the case, but hey, they're going to go in, looking for more kills. Dark gets stunned up, he turns, throws a cast, but here comes Earthshaker. Totem blink, he's got so much mobility now, and that's another kill, another pickoff. Keen Gaming just getting picked apart one by one. It's so hard for Keen Gaming to fight around Rosh because of all the vision that Liquid has right now. Yeah. You have traps, you have spirit, you have uh, Shadow Demon using illusions and the uh, Shadow Poison. They, they can't really approach this fight unless they smoke. And Keen have these BKBs, but I feel like Liquid have all this damage that can go through BKBs. So much physical damage is there, and well, they're just picking them off. Like you say, it's the vision. They're playing around their wards, they're playing around their traps, all this scouting, and they're defending their this high ground ward when. Yeah. You want to fight around the Roche pit, this is uh, one of the most important ones. Putting a sentry and uh, observer board there, also one here on this high ground so they can see if Keen Gaming wants to approach. Uh, I'm not sure if they have any smokes left. Maybe they don't because Twitch Doctor has none, otherwise they would use it. They come, they want to contest this Roche and he goes for the back lines, he wants to kill off the air shaker, but he gets the manage to manage to get out of there. They've off lost Kuroki though, that's the Shadow Demon who doesn't have buyback. That's their save as well. And that Soul Catcher is a big source of damage here. They are looking for the Sand King here. He goes in with the BKB. Old Chicken gets the crit, takes him out. 
In the back lines is Weeha. Buyback coming in from Liquid. They want to contest this. Weeha still has BKB. He's waiting. He catches Old 11 with the Melt Bash, but there is going to be a save. He goes for an RP. He doesn't get a chance to do it. There's now the, the big echo. echo Slam. It catches them all out, and Weeha is absolutely destroying them in this BKB. The BKB wears off, but absolutely destroyed his King Gaming's lineup. They are forced to fully retreat. They lost the PA. Without the BKBs, they just couldn't fight into the Echo Slam. And Kaka, well, no real escape for him. Miracle hits him with a big totem. It's and been a while since we saw an RP. In the two fights before, he landed a decent RP, but uh, there was no follow-up from the team. Also, we with the cute little play standing on the high ground with the meld, just deleting this uh, mag. And once he gets that uh, Bloodthorn and the Nullifier combo, they have nothing to dispel it with. There's no defensive item, there's no Lotus Orb whatsoever. Also, Bounty Runes just spawned, so it's Cheese Aegis and four bounties for Team Liquid. Ooh, that's going to put them well and truly far ahead right now. It's going to be about a 15k gold lead after all set, all said and done. And it just feels like Liquid is hitting uh, hitting their stride. They may even look to pressure high ground. They're still 25, 30 seconds on several of these respawns. And yeah, TA is just like, well, my control on the Sankey is just like, let's go see who's here. And good news for King Gaming is they're not there. They're playing as far back as possible. And they are going to lose at least a tier 3 tower here. We'll see if Liquid try and go for this melee Rax here. They have got the Aegis to give Weeha some safety, but it looks like the plan is just to back off. They can take the Shrines. Yep. With the better vision, they can also camp around this uh, Observer Ward. They know that they can't place any vision. If someone comes, they pick him off, and then they go for a push. Easy Shrine claimed as King Gaming uh, are going to be forced into a position where all they can maybe do is defend their high ground now. Old Chicken doesn't want to even go for this Creep Wave. They're just throwing daggers, throwing casts from the high ground. They're just holding this high ground. If someone comes, tries to de-ward, they're going to erase him immediately. Look at this. Another Observer Ward placed near the Tier 2 tower, at least where he was, but they have a sentry. Take out that ward. PA gained the gold for it. Also, bottom lane is in a good condition. So they don't have to rush anything right now. Keen Gaming uh, has no vision of Team Liquid whatsoever. I mean, at this point, Keen Gaming so stuck in their base that Liquid's just gonna... I mean, they, it was a 15k gold lead after that last team fight. It's only 17, 18k gold lead. It's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger if Keen Gaming are bottled up in their base. And a lot of these uh, top tier teams, at least the, the top tier performances in TI so far, are showing why they are in the upper bracket and the Liquid just did the same thing. You can see Sand King going in, he dies and instantly buys back. Like he's not afraid to use a buyback because they know once they get the Aegis, once they get the Cheese, it's going to be much easier to play. Yep. Complete control in Liquid's hands. Hey, Miracle, get that Bounty Rune. <laughs> there we go. The core shaker of Liquid Miracle looking Pretty they damn know. good right now. They know. They had a sentry and an observer there, so they saw them placing it. Yeah. And Dark recognizing that. It's like, well, I guess the gig's up. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, that was the last smoke. Now they're gonna go in with the creep wave. They, they saw him now. Weeha knows this may just be a free Rax. Aegis still has two minutes left on it. Tiny looking to delay this one. Throws an Avatos combo just to try and delay it a bit. Oh, look for the skewer, but he was a bit slow. He got Yules up here. Now he's going to be forced to BKB. Still gets the skewer back. Mind Control getting pushed in deep on the Sand King. Jeez, he's going to be careful. Control. He needs to pop it, though. He doesn't actually get a chance to do so. There was a Fisher yeah. block that blocked off the oh. whole Liquid team. Well, they did manage to get the melee racks at least, but it does come at the cost of Sand King's life. Also, Kaka in a team fight should use the Fisher to bounce off it. While he's rolling, yep. you can actually use Fisher as a, as a wall. Weeha's waiting patiently on this ramp. It's the play from Keen Gaming. They show themselves slightly at this mid lane. They're playing around the bottom side of the mid lane since they know they dewatered this cliff. So l much less likely that Liquid can see them here. On the high ground is Wee. He's invised up. Looking for a target. Miracle also needs to be maybe a little bit careful. He has not got Aegis. Old Eleven's looping around on him. They're going to see him in just a second. Instantly blinks away. As well as the Tome. Instead, they're going to find the backlines. And that's Kuroki 
On the Shadow Demon, they're still chasing for more. GH has a BKB, may just need to go for a BKB TP, but there's an RP to stop him if he does. And they are looking to hunt this, him this down. They've got Basher as well. GH is done for. Old 11 gets a kill. Three kills back to back for Keen Gaming. Nice enough by Keen though. Try to make a smoke play from the bottom because they knew where Liquid was standing. They lost the melee racks, uh, but they can still make a comeback. Tiny is getting yeah. big. He's level 22 with the... Uh, with this Crystallis and Empower, he actually deals a lot of damage. Now has Aghanim Scepter queued up. Mm -hmm. He's getting beefier and beefier and scarier and scarier. I like how with that, that rotation, they didn't just go up that ramp. I think they knew Liquid was just camping. And if you run up this ramp, you're going to get baited in. But they went all the way around. And they're the ones who caught Liquid by surprise because of that. All they need is one good RP. Once Tiny gets the Aghanim Scepter, and if he can get the good tree volley on them, also every single tree that hits procs an Echo Saber slow. Yep. Well, constant assault from afar if he gets that Ag Scepter up. Looks like he's going to queue up a Daedalus instead for now, so not prioritizing that Aghanim Scepter as much as we would love to see it. How's Miracle doing? He's about to hit level 25. Doesn't really need the magic resist talent this game, so almost certainly we'll be seeing that enchant totem cooldown. Yeah, so you can use it more often, go in and out. Full AC on him as well. Phantom Assassin though, level 25 coming up soon for her, and gotta imagine that's gonna be that plus 10%. Uh, I would love to see some triple stifling dagger instead. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're playing with the Max RP also has double damage, Dasher, anything can proc. What's Liquid going to do? They uh, grouped up themselves. Liquid, yep. they have a gem on Sanking and uh, freshly bought Eon Disc. So Sanking can blink in, stun, proc that Eon Disc. Also has another save with the Yule Scepter. Also with that gem, they're going to get rid of the Vision. Dire Scan being used by Liquid. They've got a smoke. It looks like they want to invade this enemy jungle. They know that King Gaming's playing around this part of the map with the vision they've set up, so... E on the tiny. He may pop this one. It's going to be old 11 as well. Blink Bar Strike is there. 11 does not get the BKB up in time. There's going to be a nullifier. They can't save the Magnus. He has got buyback. Is he going to use it? Looks like the answer is yes. Mind Control's A on disc, keeping him alive there as well. Mind Control, he's managed to not get himself killed off here while they kill the tiny as well. The RP comes out as well, but it's only a Sanking. That's not really the best target for the RP. They get the Shadow Demon, so it's not the end of the world for Keen Gaming, but it's not the target they would have liked. Yeah, also Fishers are blocking away second time Team Wicked from actually approaching a team fight. And uh, I just found a new name for Kaka, more like Staka when he's <laughs> using a Rolling Thunder. <laughs> oh dear. He is, uh... He's been stuck so many times yeah. in Rolling Thunder. <laughs> he's struggling, but... That was definitely an unexpected Aeon disc, I think, because King Gaming tried to turn and take that fight. Uh-oh. Miracle may pay the price for this one. Old There's Chicken goes for the BKB. He's getting multiple bashes, and there we go. He gets that kill. Did go for that triple stifling dagger you mentioned. As what? Kaka? Okay. All right. <laughs> He's done, though. They lost the range raxes on the top, but uh, those don't really matter yeah. that much. NBD. Yeah. And I love what the Kaka just queued up. Had Solar Crest, uh, when you play position 4 Pango, Solar Crest right now in this patch is one of the best, if not the best item. But he decides to go for this Lotus Orb. It's also going to give him armor and the way to remove this uh, deadly combo that Temporal Assassin has. The Nullifier and the Bloodthorn. Kuro denies the tier 1 bottom. Taking that gold away as here we go. Old Chicken's going to run right into Weeha's TA. There's the Nullifier with the Bloodthorn, the Mute with the Nullify. Skewer to push him back, and Weeha doesn't want to commit to the kill. Could have maybe popped the BKB to go for it. Not 11. Getting a bit antsy there. Pops his own BKB. Worried about a stomp landing. Whew. Gonna be so careful playing into this TA. They took their gem, so now they're going to be able to remove all the sentries and wards, of course, plus traps. Max needs uh, some kind of a defensive item besides BKB. Like, four staff would have been amazing. Yeah, having one force off against this TA. I Not just TA, also Sanking. Once yeah. he initiates or Earthshaker tries to focus someone. Next Roche will respawn. Let me check. It's not showing. It's up. That's why it's not showing. All right. 
I just clicked. It was not up, and then the <laughs> icon changed. <laughs> <laughs> I looked. I was like, oh, that's that's the icon that Roche has responded. Oh, there's Roche. Head, sure enough, refresher, not the Ag scepter. Something that would be fantastic on someone like Magnus. Then you don't mind using an RP just to kill off a support or a Sand King or someone. But have they got this Lotus Orb yet? Not up 400 gold away. That would be such a big one to help save people against this Templar Assassin. This Nullifier Bloodthorn is just such a nuisance. And this Ite, Ite is uh, a problem at this moment. Look at him. He has a VKB, has a Solar Crest on top of just a casual plate metal. 43 armor, also with the talents, astral attack speed, yep. plus uh, 70 attack speed talent. He's got an MKB queued up. He wants to be a carry himself. The sleep will catch the PA when they blur it up. And in the Roshan pit was Liquid. They just get themselves Roshan with ease. Miracle now with Aegis and Refresher. This Templar Assassin decides, nah, don't need it. Don't really have the room for it either. Yeah, Templar Assassin is fully jacked right now. Yeah. She has a Moon Shard, also has uh, Aghanim's Blessing queued up. Yeah, that's the uh, the good old Psionic Projection. You can teleport to any trap after a brief channel. So a lot of global presence <laughs> coming in from the TA at that point. Basically having a... You basically become Raiden. Raiden? What's Raiden? Mortal Kombat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not... <laughs> Well, I've never played that game. Dota player here. Liquid regaining map control now that they're the ones with Aegis, and not much Keen Gaming can do about this. We are heading into that ultra late game. Phantom Assassin has the money for a Satanic here. Actually, no, doesn't have the buyback on top of it, so a little bit short and smartly holding on to the buyback. So, 2.3k for a buyback. Yeah, she has enough. Using the courier right yeah, now. Someone's just sending it. it back. Mm -hmm. Mag, come on. Maybe worried about it being picked off or something. Oh, what's Mag got? He's not bringing anything. Yeah, just, just using the courier. Casual. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's actually big because if they approach and he does not have a tank. Yeah. I mean, that status resistance is very important playing against these stuns. <laughs> Curia will now make its way out and grab that Reva. It's coming. It looks like it, w it it will get here in time. I believe Miracles is chipping away at the tower, though, so they do have to wait a little bit longer. They are going to go in, try and force out some spell. They know he has the Aegis, so they're just committing the Avatos combo here. In comes Mind Control with the BKB. They go on old 11. Can they actually save the Magnus? Doesn't look like he's got no buyback. And without a buyback, this could just be the end of their base. Their high ground is being sieged. The Magnus is not around. GH in the front lines dying to the death ward here. The triple dagger is doing some good work here. It's on the back lines. The rolling thunder. Old chicken's PA's gone going balling off. on in. They've taken out the ET as well as the shadow demon. The PA. No more BKB. Epicenter. Burrow strike. PA getting low. Old chicken still alive with the Lotus Orb. Still throwing daggers from the high ground as well. Kaka needs to get out of here. Has a swashbuckle in a couple of seconds. Need to be careful. Or Shaker use oh, the refresher. Echo slam coming out. Old chicken getting chain stunts here. Still has a buyback if he needs it. The cask is bouncing. It's bouncing between two, but luckily but there that is. That status resistance. Yeah. Totem's away. PA wants his sanking, will get him. Just the Magnus still dead on the Keen Gaming side. Using buybacks was both Tiny and the Shadow Demon. The chase is on, the Bash comes out from the Stifling Dagger throw. They need to reset. Mag yep. is gonna be up in a minute. That's a they really long time. And Tiny, Tiny, Tiny died that. back, yeah. He went chasing and paid the price for it. In goes TA. TA needs to be careful, he's trying to play around this buyback, but PA, Old Chicken oh, just deletes him! Dismantled. Woo! One That's point PA. Crit. And Kuru does not have buyback. Old Chicken knows this, he's diving in and in. He wants to get that bash. He hit him three or four times. Old Chicken just can't get lucky. Can he find him after this? He sure as hell will. Dive back from Kuroki. This game is far from over. Oh, yeah. The only thing they need is a, not a great RP, just a decent one. Two-man RP will do the trick. I mean, at this point, I think not they'll even, take, not a, they'll even take a bad no, RP. No, just, <laughs> just give M power. Stand as far away yeah. from fight as possible. We, we haven't seen this Magnus in a team fight. He just gets deleted. That's the start of every team fight is, oh, Mag's dead. Now the team fight begins. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's it's been a tough game. They're hunting him, and they knew he didn't have buyback. So the second they saw him, they jumped him. Miracle going in under the bitch, Doctor. One for the kill, Kaka. Trying to chase him down, but that totem cooldown. Yeah, with an arcane rune, good luck. Boing, 2. boing, 1. boing. 
With his little pogo stick, he just hops himself away. All right, Mag will have a buyback soon, so he can afford yeah. to die. Because <laughs> he sure as hell will, Lacoste. Let me tell you, if these last few fights are anything to go off. Old 11, he is the number one target that Liquid want to go on. Also, they're approaching the level 25s. So I what? assume they need to give Tome to Mag. The extra Empower damage and the Cleave. Just use that on the Tiny and on the PA. Also, PA has the Aghanim Scepter queued up, but okay. she's still saving for a buyback first, of course. Tiny's 25 Plus coming in. Tiny's 25, either one, both are really nice. Giving you so much more constant stuns from Avalanche. All the tosses, all miracle. <sighs> Totem in blink out. He almost got caught there. PA did have an Abyssal Blade, so that could have been a very quick kill if he wasn't careful. So where are the other 25s? ET's 25 coming up. They're standing on a ward. They, he knows. <laughs> Catapult just attacked him on the high ground. Yeah, he's and it's being pinged out. Same, there's wards here. Smoke from Keen Gaming. Yeah. See the buybacks there. Tiny and Shadow Demon, no buybacks for them. Oh, miracle! There's the bash. No bash. Gotta be careful. Yep, didn't get it. Old 11, BKB's early. I think he's just been put off because of how much he's been prioritized by Team Liquid. So he's just popping his BKB at the first sign of trouble. It looks like. King Gaming are going to have to just completely reset, but they're going to get caught in the process. Dark's in the front lines. He's taken out. Does have a buyback if he's going to need to use it. I think at this point, if you're keen, you just get back to your high ground and play around it. I'm not sure if Liquid are going to want to go for a high ground push at this point. Playing with no Aegis, and it's just a Witch Doctor kill. Witch Doctor has Aghanim Scepter queued up at the moment. I think still think they need a 4 staff. They actually have zero 4 staffs at the moment. The Spangoliers. Lotus Orb is doing God's work in the team fights. Oh. So key to have this against. Even Tiny Bot one. There you go, double Lotus. Always will have one available if TA goes in with that Nullifier Bloodthorn combo. It's Alpha Wolf just following the Pengo around. Shouldn't the Alpha Wolf be following the PA? I guess you don't want it to reveal him if he's farming with Blur. Yeah, that's a good point. But in a team fight, hopefully that is going to be. Well, maybe that's the reason why Old Eleven is out of position. He's microing the creep. <laughs> is he microing? You call this micro? <laughs> <laughs> this to me looks like patrolling. You just you push M and then you click the hero and it just automatically follows. <laughs> it's the Congo line. Tiny still didn't pick up his level twenty-five talent. Get him, Wolf. What a very loyal dog. What 20? I guess he's unsure which one to go for. Yeah. They're discussing yeah. it right now. And triple toss. You can chain toss someone and kind of lock them down for a long period of time. But Avalanche, the cooldown gets so short. Goes from 14 to 5 second Avalanche cooldown stun. Yeah, I've seen position 4 Tiny's winning a game. When it comes to a super late game, you get Octarine Core, you get that talent. You can pretty much use Avalanche all the time. You just need yeah. to have mana, enough mana. Still thinking it over. And this is the stage of the game where BKBs are fairly short. So we'll see what he ends up getting there. What were the other 25s that were approaching? So ET almost has his. Yep. Earth split a cooldown. We're expecting. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Okay. Sanking 25. Probably the blind. I mean, almost certainly the blind. Blind is insanely good against the PA and Tiny. Anything else? Shadow Demon. Well, two charges of disruption to have a save. He's only level 23, though. Roche will respawn in a minute. And this is the Ags one, so. Potential upgrade for some of these heroes with these Aghanim Scepters here in the late game. Have to see just who and where that might come out. And Old Eleven had enough. He just bought Eon Disc. I think he should have bought a good this choice. a while ago. It's a great ago, choice, yeah. but uh, if uh, Tia can actually remove it with uh, Bloodthorn, which she does not have anymore. Oh. She, she sold it. Interesting. I guess seeing all these Lotus Orbs, she's just like, well, 
Uh, See ya, guys. I'm going for MKB. Yeah, if they get rid of the Bloodthorn, suddenly you don't have a way to pierce evasion. So that's where the MKB kicks in. Also, you can't pierce evasion if you have uh, MKB in your backpack. Uh, you know, it's pretty smart. Huh? Yeah, he didn't read the patch notes. You know, the old patch, he could. I mean, he's just gonna use DD, put the MKB in. That's also pretty smart, I'd say. So here we go, all 11. Front line a bit now. Let's, let's be careful, they can pop that Aeon Disc pretty easily. Also, the Demonic Purge, right? You're just constantly gonna be purging it off if he tries to use it. If he has that You cannot dispel yeah. Demonic Purge. Exactly. And Tiny went for Avalanche cooldown. Here we go. There's our answer. What did ET end up going for? Did he get his? He got the wake damage. Okay. Scan from the Radiant. They know someone's inside the Roche pit. Throwing yep. the three for the vision. Here we go. So tense here. Holding the high ground. Blinking on in. Miracle. Oh, he totems and blinks out immediately. Trying to bait some spells. The stomp. Catches out the Pengo. This is such an interesting little talent. It's going to take... Oh, they can do a lot more damage before heroes wake up now. Yeah, it's 800 right now. Wow. So you get an extra 800 damage when they're not even doing anything. Oh. Their Lotus Orb helps out Kaka. Can he get out of this one? There's going to be There's an RP. The RP. Catches out too. 11. Have they got the fault? The PA gets stunned before she BKBs. They want Kuro, but he's got an on Disc himself. Kuro is getting hit by the Death Ward. Insta buyback coming in from the Pengo. Kuro is down. He doesn't have a buyback. Doesn't have the gold for it, it just came off cooldown, but no gold in his pockets. As we'll see, three heroes now without buyback, one of whom is dead currently. Kaka just used his, so. They should go into Roche, but they have Mud Golem to scout things out, put it outside. Roche just bashed the, the small ones, and they all die. Here comes. Miracle though, it's so hard to go for Roshan against ET. Epicenter is there, they're looking for this uh, Lotus Tiny. Storm. Yeah, he loaded the Burrow Strike. Tiny's still in all sorts of trouble here. He does have a toss if he wants to try and use it. Echo Slam catches out three. Miracle absolutely destroying them. He's got the Maledict on him though. He's going to take a lot of damage here. Old Chicken is just holding his ground. He's life stealing back up as well. He gets crit. He gets deleted. Miracle. Oh, that damage. Holy moly. He has over a thousand damage plus a crit Ooh. on top of it. Everyone's buying back right now. What? Roche. Off and HP. Totem. Miracle wants this for his team. Pengo dies back though. Let's see that damage very quickly. 8k damage from the Earthshaker. And all the buybacks being expended from Keen Gaming. Holy cow. They need to take this Roche. Shadow Demon is spawning in 15 seconds. Just illusions in the pit. They desperately need it, like you say, because they're playing without buybacks. Whereas Dire Liquid, they've got buyback on three of their key heroes. And it looks like King Gaming say, we, we can't stick around here any longer. They may just be giving up this Roshan. It looks like that is the case. Without Pengo, without RP for 15 seconds, they just don't feel confident enough to stay out on the map. The rest of it being used just to be sure. Aegis on Miracle's Earthshaker Refresher in the backpack. There's also Aghanim Scepter upgrade. Who Shadow picked Demon picked up? it up. Okay. Let's say the, these cores are so farmed, they're going to be able to farm their own Aghanim Scepters at this rate. Three so. And Shadow Demon is uh, getting closer to level 25 now. Yep. So with the Demonic Purge damage. Wow, three charges of... Uh, that's going to be a lot of damage. 900 damage, yeah. three charges. Here come Team Liquid down the mid lane. 15 seconds before Kaka respawns on that. The Pengalier. Miracle can kind of just front line and hit these buildings. He did go back for an Octarine core, so low cooldown on that totem. 2.25 seconds. He's just going to be jumping in, I imagine. Oh, bye bye, Creep Wave. Dagger, bye bye, Range Creep. Team Liquid holding back, staying steady. Not looking to fully commit to this one. What's we have up to? You're looking for the runes. And there it is. It's the double damage. That's what he was hoping for. It should be... Oh, he hasn't got the eggs. I was about to say he could be using uh, that ability to go to his traps, but... Not available right now. Also, 11 went for RP duration on 25. With all this status resistance, I don't think it's worth it. Okay. 
They're just beefing up this PA, but they're not going to be there. So Team Liquid, you got to imagine they want to go soon. This buyback advantage, five minutes with no buyback on Tiny, PA, or Magnus. All three King Gaming cores playing with that buyback. It's go time if you're a Liquid. 26k gold lead. They've got to be feeling like it's go time. Shaker immediately gets Avalanche Toss. Brought down fairly low. They're just trying to make sure that they punish him because they're... Is there even any sustain really to heal him back up here? So the panic and there we go. It. So one hit back to full HP. Yeah, they just need to keep chipping away at Miracle and try and take the Aegis out of his hands without committing too much. Yeah, with that Doctor in core, he also reduces the cooldown on Satanic. There you go. Another totem in. Tiny, oh, he blinked in as Miracle. Caught him by the sun. They have got a Maledict though, so he's going to be brought pretty low. There's going to be a skewer on back. The RP, it only catches one. Miracle managed to get out. He is still caught in this Maledict. Mind Control goes in with the Epicenter. Going to cleave his way through them. We has in with the BKB. That wake damage means they're still all asleep. Old Chicken Manta starts to try and get himself out of there. There's They've the lost the Aegis. Miracle needs to be careful. He's playing without an Aegis. Yi is in on the Tiny. He's got no buyback. The Death Ward from the high ground. That's an upgraded Aghanim's Death Ward, but it gets cancelled. Nicely played by the ET to stop that one. Tiny gets kept alive. The PA's in the front lines. Doesn't have buyback. There's the him here. They're absolutely destroying the PA. He's Satanic caught. He's asleep. Ready. He's got the demonic purge. They take him out. He doesn't get a chance to use the satanic. And without the PA, they're crumbling. Keen Gaming have to find a way to defend. Without a miracle's gone in. He's got the Echo Slime. He takes out the Witch Doctor just to support, but every kill adding up. And elsewhere, they lost the Tiny as well. Three dead. Liquid. They want to go for the throne, I think. They want to go for the fountain. They're looking for the team wipe. They know this game is in the bag. And Keen Gaming finally concede. GG. Liquid take it. Oh, I wish Team Gaming had uh, any kind of a Glimmer Cape, a Force, force Staff, just, just to play around the PA, because PA will carry you in this super late game. But uh, man, Team Liquid, they managed to win with the Earthshaker Ooh. as a core. Position 1 Earthshaker. Fun stuff. I mean, this is not just fun stuff, though. This is Team Liquid, you know. They're trying to make a run to get back into that winner bracket. It's still possible, even though it's unlikely. They need all the wins they can get, and... Miracle 15 5 16 on the Earth Shaker. We has TA though. I mean, you've seen it time and time again. This guy plays a pretty hard to beat TA. Yeah, he is really master on a couple of the heroes, but the, this late game Dota gods, it's really beautiful to watch. I mean, uh, yeah, it is. Dota has never been this entertaining, I gotta say. Yeah. I mean, everyone gets to make all these crazy plays, the way buybacks are used, the way these team fights unravel. It's absolutely fantastic. So many amazing items that you can use and the way like Lotus Orbs come into play, the Aeon Discs. And that play from V, where he decided to sell the Bloodthorn because mm -hmm. they had the Lotuses. I mean, they still have the armor, but uh, it, it was really cute. Going back for MKB so that he can pierce the evasion. Well, that's just game one. Maybe we'll get another game just like it in game two. Fingers crossed. As we take a quick break and we'll come back with more of Liquid versus King Gaming.
And here we are at our last game of the day here on Stream B. It's Team Liquid versus Keen Gaming, two teams who find themselves fairly low down in the group. The good news is they're not at the bottom. The bottom is where you don't want to be, Lacoste. Yeah, that's the only place you do not want to be. Yeah. It, I mean, you're getting out. There's a huge difference between the last place and what you get for, for the next step after that. So, And also, the next step after that, you're actually playing on the main stage. So you, suddenly, you're still in the tournament. You win a best of one. You're top 12. Maybe you win a best of three. I mean, Team Liquid... These guys make lower bracket runs. They won TI through the lower bracket. Not impossible. King Gaming, they're a good team. Group stage does not matter that much. I mean, yeah. if you get the first place, of course, you can pick course. whoever you want to play against. But uh, And it's easier to play a best of three instead of a best of one. Which yeah. Best yeah, of ones can be brutal. And best of ones are fun to watch. At least for us, I don't oh, think they're yeah. really fun to play. I love best of ones. They're good fun. I, I love them as well. <laughs> Maybe not to play them, yeah, yeah. especially if there's uh, so much money on the line. I think group stages only matter... If you can get winner bracket, once you're wh where you are in the winner bracket, I mean, yeah, cause like you say, it kind of helps help choose your opponent. That's nice. Um, but other than that, whether you're second, third, fourth, fourth, whatever, and if you're lower bracket, also doesn't matter too much. Obviously, there's going to be some easier and tougher opponents, but um, being winner bracket's great because then you're playing main event, and if you lose, there's less pressure when you're in winner bracket. Oh, for sure. You lose, you're still in the tournament. So, um, right now, these two teams look probably starting in the lower bracket. King Gaming, Liquid. Let's get into game two draft. Um, they at this point you want to just get a win to make sure you're safe from being uh, eliminated. Chaos are on two points, I believe, and both of these teams currently have five points. And Chaos have exactly three games remaining, including one they're in now. So if Chaos win all three of their games, I'd be shocked because they're versing Team Secret tomorrow. Um, firstly, but secondly, that could potentially force a tiebreaker for last place. So um, win a game here, and you're not eliminated. Yeah. I just checked the stats uh, about some of the most picked heroes, and Ogre's win rate actually dropped below 50%. Wow. He's at 48 okay. right now. I'm, he's still a hot pick. Like, he's yeah. winning the games. It also depends which teams are picking Ogre. If the teams that uh, are in the lower part of the bracket are prioritizing Ogre, losing the games, you can twist, yeah. twist the stats. How much? Yeah, let's say, how much do you value seeing a hero's like success and win rate? Like how much is it reflective of the hero being good versus the team who understands how and when to pick him? As I said, it depends which team picks okay. it. Also, yeah. how many games the hero was picked in the tournament. Yeah, And there are some heroes that are like just a, maybe a special niche pick where it's like, you're going to pick this hero when it's a good game. Like, you know, 10th pick Brood. Like, Brood often will have a good win rate, but a hero having a good win rate doesn't mean you just want to first two pick it. Exactly. And... AA opening, I like this one because it blocks, kind of blocks the alchemist pick. You can still play around the the mm -hmm. AA ulti, but uh, it also opens up the alchemist for yourself. Yep. So Team Liquid, see what their response might be. Uh, they've gone for the ET in the first two before. I guess at this point, if you're Liquid, you're kind of expecting to stay in the lower bracket. You're just kind of maybe looking to shore up some of your play. Use this as a uh, I mean, not, not just practice, but you want to win. If, ideally, even if you can go up to like fifth place in the group, you get to choose your opponent. Could uh, help a lot when you're talking about playing in the lower bracket. I think fifth place in the lower bracket also chooses their opponent, right? The same as first? I'm not sure Is that about right? that. Okay. Um, I, yeah, well, 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 we won't check right now, but you guys figure it out. You guys let us know. Lacoste can maybe check. No. I'm just going to focus on the picks okay. right now. Oh, yeah. Gosh, doing your job, Lacoste. How dare you? Wow, the Ember Spirit opening. Team Liquid is one of the teams that are hardest to read, which opening they're going to get, because they almost never go for, for the same thing. So Ember, what, flexible, can go mid, can go carry, um, as far as the roles go. I mean, you kind of know what to expect from this hero, and it's a hero that can kind of punish the AA pretty well, since he has got that gap close. Hey, it's kind of like a free kill for him in a lot of ways. Doesn't have any disables to ever really threaten to kill an Ember Spirit. Yeah. And you also have a magic shield, so AALT is not that effective unless you're below the threshold. Yep. Then it's not going to save you. What the look can we get with this? And with this Ember Spirit opening, you are forcing the enemy team to pick uh, stuns, slows. Yep. ET. ET in the mid game and the late game is just insanely good. We could so. GH uh, with the BKB. You want to get that item on Elder Titan if possible. So you can be around the enemy heroes removing their their base armor. And sorry for misleading you guys. Uh, 
Iti's aura does not uh, remove uh, Tiny's bonus armor. I, I tested it after I saw something in a team fight melt plus uh, Deso hit. He was sitting on zero plus uh, two armor. So oh. sorry for the misleading info. Apology accepted, Lacoste. On behalf we of you, all make mistakes. Myself. Dota is a very complicated game, my friend. Yeah, yeah. The viewers forgive you. They let me know. Uh, Shadow Shaman, you talk about disable lockdown against Ember Spirit. Here's one. Um, it, you pick up your support duo, uh, but Shaman's a, a strong four, something that they can play just fine. Yeah, Shaman checks a lot of boxes. You have the push, you have disable, you have the wave clear as well. Ten seconds remaining. He's Shaman one of OP. the okay. he's one of the few heroes that uh, can Five like make solo actions. Even if you're in a bad position, yes. be on the different side of the map, place. <sighs> Place the wards, get the tower. He has that, yeah, kill threat on a lot of heroes where you can be alone and set up a kill with all your, like, you hex, you shackles, you buy time for a teammate to TP in and finish off these kills. So, yeah, it's it's a great playmaker. Even has solo kill potential. So, good little pick. They ban the Nature's Prophet. That's a throwback. Nature's Prophet used to be played a lot against Shadow Shaman. It's very hard to play against those treants in lane. As Shadow Shaman, they kind of bully you. Yeah, Shadow, Shadow Shaman and uh, when Oracle was picked a lot, you get the Nature's Prophet can trade against the treants. And they decide to ban out Tiny because Tiny was causing a lot of issues, especially in the early and mid game. Yep. And hey, that bonus armor versus the ETR. No, they know. That's that's the strat. Now they also know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they've learned. We've learned they've They're learned. They're stream sniping. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we'll see what Team Liquid look to get. Maybe this way you want to be picking up some supports without if you don't want to reveal too much. Probably want to see some way to cancel that shackle. I mean, they've already got Searing Chains as well as the ET Stomp. The Stomp, though, not instant. Maybe a slight concern. And Crystal Maiden is going to be the pick for Kuroki. So, just a, you know, a, it's not much to say. It's a CM. Gives aura. It's good. It's a good team, team support. Has a good nuke. Has a good aura, and the ultimates and receive some buffs. It's yeah. insanely good. Sometimes you can just place a zoning ulti. It doesn't necessarily need to deal the damage, but if they're out of stuns, out of disables for your ulti, they can't come closer. And the, that extra armor that you get, you can stand and man fight against some of the carries, even in the mid and late game. Yep. How many times I saw Crystal Maiden standing in Wukong's command, not actually getting damage? <laughs> It's like a defensive tool. Pop it even when you're not killing someone. Just like, uh oh, there's this BKB hero right clicking me. Let's let's ulti for the armor. Let's see what King Gaming looks at now. They need to start picking up some of their cores. We've seen quite a variety of heroes on old eleven. Uh, there was the Abaddon earlier today. He played Magnus that last game. Not always the most conventional of heroes as well. King Gaming. They were four and zero before that loss just then. By the way, they were having such a good day. Uh, trying to climb their way maybe into an upper bracket slot, although it is a tough ask with their group. Yep. A couple teams already really pulled fire ahead. I think it's Secret and LGD who are guaranteed winner bracket already. And those teams are actually playing each other, so I have a feeling a lot of the viewers are probably watching that one right now. But I know, there, I know there's some Team Liquid fans out there watching the boys, as well as some uh, maybe the couple of Keen Gaming fans. Yeah, and this axe will provide even more control for Ember Spirit. Yep. Kind of a lower <coughs> lower cooldown control. An ability that has a BKB piercing, so whatever carry they pick is also yeah. gonna need to be careful about it. And I feel like these supports don't deal that well with axe, like whether he's wave cutting or just in general. Like that's partly where maybe it's like, Oh yeah, this feels like a good axe game. Axe creep cutting is not that strong anymore. With like the you, you need stouts to be careful removed. because you can't uh, use uh <coughs> two stout shields. Mm -hmm. Team Liquid pick up Enigma. They see both supports and the offliner, so they kind of know this could be a good Enigma game. As far as cancelling a BKB Black Hole goes, I mean, Blink Call, if he's in the perfect spot, can find it, but... It's yeah. tough. They, they yeah. should get something, because eventually it will come to that one point where you need to cancel a BKB Black Hole. Yeah. And uh, you got nothing. But which character, like, normally that comes from the support role, It comes I feel. from the support role or from the offlane. Yeah, like, like you have the Beastmaster or something with the longer range uh, Winter Vibrant. They could maybe sneak in some kind of a carry venge, maybe mid venge. Well, I mean, picking Lockdown in general doesn't sound 
like a bad idea when you're playing against Ember. And, oh, well, of course, it's King Game. They're going to pick PA. Um, don't mind PA. PA is a good hero to actually lane against Enigma, I feel. You're not too worried about the idol on Jignax. You can farm them pretty well with your Stifling Dagger. Uh, you will have a decent amount of creeps denied, but not too bad. And now King Gaming just looking for their mid hero with their last pick. I mean, you can still play without the hero, but you're playing with a handicap that doesn't have any BKB piercing ability for mm. a black hole. Well, that may just be the case here. You're going to play with stuff like buybacks and Aegis Five then seconds. instead. Remaining. Or just, you know, get ahead, play from ahead. Don't give Enigma a chance to come online. Mind control almost certainly going to be handling that one in the offlane. A scary thought for Keen Gaming. Who now have to wonder where this Ember Spirit's going. Is it going to be Weeha playing at mid? Is it going to be Miracle playing it? Are there any cheese picks to worry about? Oh, I was just about to say, the Weeha Meepo. This is... They haven't got that many answers for Meepo. Yes, Axe Call... I mean, Axe Call does not really counter Meepo. Yeah. Period. One, abil one ability that pierces it, and it could be a mid-hero, is Necrophos Salty. Okay. And Necro does well if he's against the Ember Spirit, but they're picking blindly right now. Yeah, and I feel like there's... Heroes that can cause Necro a lot of problems. He doesn't do it well with a lot of magic damage. ET amplifies magic damage as well, so... Could be a tough one for him. OD. So maybe it's it's a save. Someone gets, like, PA gets BKB Black Hold, you can Astral them. If OD doesn't get caught in the hole, you can't cancel it, but you can save people. That's a, you know, a soft way of dealing with it. May also force that Ember Spirit into a side lane since that is not going to be a fun matchup for him. I don't think Pagna is that great of a hero, but uh, here it might be. Like having yeah. a Decrypify against the PA, it's great against uh, the OD, good in the laning stage. Like They, they want to have a good laner that can match up against OD. Hmm. Do they just go for it again? Or does Weeha just, you know, play TA again? He can, I mean... <laughs> you shrug like, yep, yeah, sure, why not? There's always an option to go for a Windranger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Windranger matches up fine against the OD. We'll see what Liquid have in mind for us. A minute of time remaining for them to think about their options, whether they want to get a mid, whether they want to get a Miracle Hero. And we'll see what that might be soon enough. That's for Keen Gaming. Their lanes and heroes, pretty clear what they have. Oppa! Oh. Tinkers received so many buffs. It's been a while. I was wondering if we're going to see any Tinker picks uh, in the TI. Man, he he got some really, really nice buffs, though. And yeah. they don't have a hero that can catch Tinker. The only thing they've really got to scout him is those Ice Vortexes. Ice Vortexes, yeah. AA ulti. But uh, where's the, the fall? Best. Like, Phantom Assassin needs to be closer to the trees. Once Tinker gets a blink, it's going to become a really hard for, for them to actually catch him. Well, we talked about, you know, Liquid with where they're at, likely going to find themselves in the lower bracket. Now's the time to try out some heroes you might think could be viable. And also, I mean, we, we meme and joke about it, save some strats. Like, if you have some heroes you think are really good, you're better off saving them for the best of ones in the lower bracket than busting it out here in a match that may ultimately not decide your fate at TI. Yeah, and this is a position for Crystal Maiden, so she will get more levels, Ooh. more farm priority, okay. uh, which... Uh, could get her closer to level 15 with the uh, mana cost, the uh, mana loss reduction on the spells with the Tinker. Mm -hmm. uh, that that could actually be really big. I'm about to say, other than Storm, Tinker's like the one other hero you really feel like that that talent is considered on. So I would love to see that instead of the GPM talent. As much as you know, gold Here, is great. Yes, because Tinker doesn't have to go to base that often. Like in a team fights, so just reduce all of his cooldowns. Yep. It, it's a level 15 talent for him. Now he has uh, 150 GPM, which is also great. And... Uh, 11% for himself. Like, his talents got buffed. So you, right now, you don't know what to pick on. Level 10, ca do I go for cast range? Spell amp is always good. No. Oh, the error of Tinker. Is it back? We're about to find out. We ha His last match is Tinker. He did lose it, but he went 24, 6, and 21. We've got old 11 playing on the axe. The beefy fella. He's got the loincloth. He knows... What's up when it comes to the cosmetics? And Tinker. Have you seen it much in your pub games lately? Do you feel like He appears from time to time. 
when there are no mostly as as a 10 bit but there are some uh, thinker specialists that don't really care whether you have a clockwork whether you have a specter they're still gonna pick it because they can play around it yeah they know the the way to change their play to verse yeah the, they get those four heroes. staffs they get yule scepter even bkbs earlier as a third slash fourth item oh. early ward planted down the mid lane and it will be that tinker mid up against the od Definitely one of those annoying heroes to play as against as an OD in general with that laser mischance making life always that more bit more difficult. And mind control will secure the lane for himself. After all, it's an enigma. Four mangoes. Just use the demonic conversions to pull the lane back. And uh, right now they're just scouting the lanes. And he's got. All the immortals on his axe. It's a fully decked out axe. Yeah, top lane, Kuro. Looking to secure some bounty runes. BA nearby. Not going to be going for this one. And down the bottom. Oh! He got it. Miracle. He got it. Miracle actually got it with the sleight Woo. of fist. We saw that attempted yesterday, I think it was. In when he tried to snatch the... Oh, the, was uh, it? the top rune. The top yeah, rune. Yeah, yeah. It was Arcane rune, and the Sumail stepped to a bit to the side, so yeah. he can't get it. Really nicely done by Miracle. That is such a hard timing to do. They're going for Curious Sniper, it looks like, as Old Eleven's going to go for some wave cutting. Got to imagine until you see these heroes. Yeah, this Curia is like, I'm just... Is it chilling at base? It waited to bring a Mango as well. Uh-oh. Curia may get sniped. That's going to be big if they can get the courier. Yeah. It may just have to wait for the trip back, though. You don't know for sure when it's coming out. So he'll see that courier deliver items. Then he's going to get it on the way back. Is he going to poke his nose out? Oh, oh. he knows. We has ready for it. He's pinging it out. It's yep. GH. He knows that the AA is missing from the lane. <laughs> yeah, they haven't actually seen the AA here. AA stayed in fog. And yeah, he microed it on the north side. Really well played there. And it's very common. You can't kill the courier when it's going out to lane, unless you have a ward there. So, without that, we managed to get the courier back safely. You can snipe the courier like that if you're, if there's a lot of uh, lane changes, so a lot of heroes are missing uh, from the map, then they're they're not going to notice it. 11. He's got level 2, battle though. Hunger. Yeah. This makes this a whole lot easier. And Kaka's actually showing up as well. Shadow Shaman with boots. You don't want to trade with this guy. That could actually be a ah, Axe not wants dead to wave. Crystal Maiden, but uh, he has Aether Shock. A lot of right click damage, but uh, the region from Tangos and four Mangos will be enough for him to survive. It is a Crystal Maiden that feels like doesn't have a good place. You can't really contest what the Axe is doing. And Shadow Shaman yells, let's say, this is a good time to go do some stacks. Max is going to be pretty happy with that, although it is a Centaur, not the ideal camp for him. Elsewhere. Ember Spirit going for a side pull of his own. Kaka's looking to come in to contest this one, but uh-oh, here's GH with a Nova, and Kaka forced to TP on out. TP's all the way back to base. Did have a salve if he wanted to TP to the tier one, but decided not to. He can bring out some more items for the Axe or for himself, his team, or whoever. Yeah, Kaka need should it. run to mid because at the bottom lane, he's not doing that much. They could set things up on a mid lane with the Astral. Oh, he still doesn't have boots. Ah, I mean, Shadow Shaman is only level one, so it's, it's not really worth it. If he was two with the Shackles, that could be enough. So, looking like Axe is going to have a very good time in free farm away. Also get some of these jungle camps. CM, going to steal that Centaur. Nice bit of play there from him. And Miracle, the Ember. Going to be forced to just last hit quite a bit under the tower. He is rotating over. I think they feel like they can kill old 11 here. He's got the movement speed from the battle hunger, though. Can Miracle get in close? He saved a point if he wants to go for the Searing Chains, and he does just that. He's going to get this kill. First blood from Miracle. Great job holding under those skill points, and he gets a kill as a result. Axe was there a bit uh, too long, staying on uh, low HP. Yeah. Didn't even deliver the items to himself. Uh, <laughs> he bought a ring of health, so... He had double salve too, but he just got a bit too greedy tanking the creeps. And then once CM's on you, you can't pop those salves. So, good start for Liquid. At least as far as dealing with this axe goes. Back at top, PA. Not having a whole lot of fun here. Getting bullied a little bit by this ET. Okay. 
can't get that career. <laughs> Did have the shield as well. Didn't even need to pop it. What's he doing here? Pulling waves. GH. I'm gonna say, I don't know about this one. Max is there. He's running on in. He's looking to intercept this wave and take it for himself. Crystal Maiden is only level 2. Like, she has no mana. Like, you use one spell and then you're out of mana. That's why you need to bring so many clarities and mangoes on this hero early on. That's alright. She only has one spell, you know. That's the nature of CM these days. And uh-oh, mid lane, Weeha. He's been brought down. Kaka with the rotation. Shackles and Ethershock. GH couldn't get there in time. Yeah. As soon as he got level 2, decided to rotate to a mid. Three points in that Astral bigger range so he can easily set things up. Kuroki does not have a point in uh, Echo Stomp yet, but uh, they could try to go for a kill. Two points in Crystal Nova. What's the build on Tinker? 1-1-2. One, one, uh, not too much kill power. Yeah. Already committing to the farming build as you typically want to go top lane. Meanwhile, they get the slow. And Old Chicken decides not to hard commit to this one. The tower hits would have caused him a lot of problems. And even with the chilling touch, he didn't want to go any deeper here. There is bounty runes coming out here. Looks like Kaka wants to try and go secure the top one. Doesn't have mana for a shackle, so, so Kuro should be able to secure it. Manages to get it before Kaka can deny it. And Liquid get three out of four bounty runes, but they want the Kuro kill. They should have this one. Kaka. Kuro's buying everything before he dies. Two of the rewards plus the boots. And the 75 gold if he wants to spend that as well. He's, they're not even going to kill him. They're like, eh, it's not worth it, I guess. They just don't want to waste their time. And oh, bottom lane. Axe. He's dead again. They've chased him down once more. Max is not having the best time, I got to say. Obviously CSing well and getting that good farm behind the tower, but these deaths are giving Miracle a fantastic time. He's got 3k net worth. He's crushing this bottom lane. He is level 6, uh, but the problem is he was creep skipping a lot, uh, so that means Shadow Shaman is not getting levels from that uh, lane at all. Yeah. Yeah, this Shadow Shaman's going to have to Take a lane at some point, it feels like, for some catch-up. Not that there's an easy place to be doing that. The control just casually using that level 1 Midnight Pulse to chop down some trees. No, it's got that 50 mana cost. Also got a lot of mana sustained with one point in Aura, Mango, and the Soul Ring. They're gonna go on Mind Control. Oh. He's got three points in the Eidolons, though, so running into these Eidolons, that damage will add up. Crew's gonna... Fight and bully them back. Has got this spirit coming back soon, but doesn't opt to chase. He did get a lot of plus damage. I feel like he almost could have gone for that AA, but with the Shadow Shaman there, he was not too keen on diving that tower. Yeah, even if you're playing position 5 EP, you want to put two points in Astral because uh, it almost doubles the damage. So we're seeing here he goes flying through all these heroes. There we go, plus 127. Kuro, he's a beefy boy. Very tanky. On a miracle. Three points to the flame guard. Level 11 has to be careful about what he does against Miracle here. Miracle has hit level 7. The good thing for Keen Gaming is that he is having an extremely good time on a mid lane. There's going to be a shackles. They go in on GH here. TP coming in as well. Old 11. He's done with bottom lane. He wants to fight this top, but it's only a GH kill, and I don't believe they're going to be able to catch up for a second. So. Not quite the rotation he was hoping for. Yeah, he's hasn't leveled up the ultimate. Level 7 with Treads, double null talisman. CS wise, 44, 20 against 18 and 5. Look at the net worth, too. It's 3.3k on OD, 1900 on Tinker only. Weeha is really struggling. Stacks. Some camps for him, but uh, Axe is already here. And if you stack camps and Axe gets in there, he's going to steal those stacks. So you got to be careful about how you approach it. Nice D ward. 11 is getting all the gold that he can. Taking an Observer Ward, taking a full Creep Wave on top, even from Phantom Assassin, because he's he's not having that good of a time. Tinker needs to start hitting the jungle. Has found, unfortunately, the Shard Golems. Has got the max march now, so... Well start to accelerate and farm and have easy access and farm in the jungle. As there we go, he is going to be throwing down that march to try and clear out those two camps and they found another observer ward. Back to back D wards here, that's that's two observer wards. Now they're a bit crippled. Yep. Limits the vision and also gives some nice gold to the keen gaming 
side. We'll be looking at that 10 minute mark when bounty runes come up and more importantly those Tome of Knowledge. Both Shaman and AA very under leveled this game. And this the nature of these lanes. Meanwhile GH, he's level 5. Keen Gaming won't be able to make rotations on mid because there's an Ember Spirit uh, whose high level has a TP so they should be careful about diving. You, they can kill the top lane though because uh, Mind Control is really trying to take this tower. Well, he'll, he'll actually die for it. Dude, he gets the last hit for the tower though. So I think he's saying that's well worth it and he rotating it himself wants these kills, but here comes the Ember Spirit. You mentioned about his rotation. OD needs another Astral. Still in cooldown for a few more seconds. Another Fire Room at forward, and they kill off the OD just before the Astral Imprisonment came back up, and Miracle gets juked here. Dark runs back up to the north. I think Miracle knows this. He is going to scout him out in just a second. No, he completely breaks his ankles. Dark has managed to juke Miracle himself, and now Old Eleven's had a chance to Eleven, rotate on in. The Looking for Kuro. Eleven wants this kill. He's going to get it. Gets the movement speed burst. And Dark, what a play coming out from a miracle! That is sick, actually. Whew. Because there were creeps around him. It took them a bit too much time to kill Enigma because they were using the Astral as well on ET, which gave enough time for Ember Spirit to actually rotate to the top lane. Ember wasted so much time trying to chase for that AA. He juked perfectly in those trees, timing his movement around the fog. And the Tinker just got his BOTs. No okay. bottle. Yeah. Straight into BOTs. I mean, you hear 10 minute BOTs, you normally think, oh yeah, that's good timing, but no bottle, no soul ring. But we just want to make sure he gets this as fast as possible. He can always make those fountain trips and he'll go back for the bottle and the soul ring. And we're looking now, PA farming away at the top lane. We'll be going for that Battle Fury, of course. No Magnus this time around, so once that farming tool. It looks like the support's now level 6 on Shaman with Arcane Boots. So that 10 minute mark friendly to the support life as Dark as well getting close to his level 6. Just leeching some XP yeah. from the trees. And with that double kill, it actually gets axed at the top of net worth. He's getting close to his Bling Dagger, 400 gold away from it. Miracle has an Invis rune. He's level 9 as well. Does run into 11 here in the mid lane. Mind Control and Kaka are going to trade their lives down bottom, but it's mid lane where Miracle needs to be a little bit careful. Has got the Fire Remnants to perhaps escape if needed. Playing very aggressively, but yeah, that was a one for one trade down bottom. Mind Control died to the Serpent Wards, but got a kill in return, it looks like. And Miracle got the last hit on the tower. He's extremely farmed right now. Makes a rotation to the top lane to yep. keep, keep farming. Where's that Blink Dagger on Axe? Still not there, but they decided to smoke. Dark wants to plant some vision, three Observer Wards in his inventory. Needs to be careful not to run into this ET. If that smoke pops, it could... Doesn't want the smoke to pop. He's hoping just to get these wards down, and there we go. Not in the obvious spot on the hill, but we may go for a double ward. Oh, runs into the Enigma now. He's pretending uh, to yeah. ward. I like it. The fake out. He's like, uh, yeah, I warded that hill. And this other ward will be out of uh, that, range. He also placed what? an Observer Ward before he died. What? That, that, if you're clicking him, you see him plant that one. Oh, they got fooled. Mind yeah. Control ping the high ground. Also, yeah. they scouted out this one. Okay. Good old ward game. I, I don't know if this that Observer Ward, the second one, was intentional or not. I mean, uh, obviously, there was some degree of intentionality. He did, of course, click it, but... Not finding it on the high ground, and they may go for a second sentry to just try and scout the area a bit more. We'll see what Liquid do about it, but smart warning coming out from the AA of Dark. Axe has enough money to buy that Blink Dagger. Yep. Let's go for it now. Need some teammates to play around. The AA does have Ice Blast, which is going to be one of those big tools. There's Enigma. They've actually, I believe, scouted they, out this yeah. Blink Dagger already, so... They saw it. And immediately they're making a rotation to the top lane. Ideally, you would want to kill this Phantom Assassin to stop her from farming. Plus 200. Dunk it. Doesn't want to put it on cooldown. They get the kill without it. And Mind Control is being chased down here. They have vision around this area, so they want to take this fight. Here comes the Tinker. Black Big hole being black used, hole. catches out three. The Tinker's here as well with the march. The Ice Blast goes flying on in, but the Hex is there controlling Mind Control. The Serpent was being dropped, and Weeha's completely out of mana. 
as he does manage to get the kill in the end on Kaka with the March of the Machines. Top lane, meanwhile, Old Chicken gets caught out, and that's a dead PA. Yeah, I was wondering why there was no TP reaction since they have a Shrine and the Tier 1, even Tier 2 tower to backstab the King Gaming, but uh, they got uh, a better kill on top lane. Just delaying that uh, Battle Fury from Phantom Assassin is uh, high value. Canal, Bottle and Soaring. Blink Dagger queued up. No surprises and no changes in your, you know, the old Tinker item build. The potential room for innovation comes after the Blink Dagger, usually. Nax immediately queuing up a BKB this game. Not really high value in the Blade Mail when you're not versing, like, a physical damage core. It's good against Thinker to cancel his For sure. Blink Dagger, but uh, it's good against the Ember. But they, they want to make something happen right now. AA has ulti ready. No Shadow Shaman wards, though. Old Chicken pops the blur mid. Just trying to make sure he stays fairly safe and also maybe make it seem like nothing's going on here. They get some wards down here. Not finding all too much as bounty runes were spawning. They were hoping that Liquid were going to go for those top bounty runes, but that is not the case. You see a lot of these smoke actions around the rune timings uh, where both of these teams actually read the map uh, movement well and just dodge each other. Ooh. Finds that. Luckily, the sentry was above because if he put it below, he could have gotten a two for one there. That would have been a, an extra freebie observer ward kill. And another deep ward between tier 1 and tier 2 tower, placed by Ancient Apparition. Yep. He's getting a lot of good vision up for King Gaming, who want to play. They want to play aggressive. They've got this Blink Dagger. They're feeling like this is go time for them. Yi on the OD is going for all the mobility items, which basically says he wants to fight. Four stuff into Blink Dagger, and then a BKB queued up. He's not playing the farming game. No Midas. Yeah, no he has a double save yep. with the four staff and Astral. Bottom lane being pushed in. Mind Control understands that uh, they have nothing that pierces BKB Black Hole, so he instantly queues up uh, BKB after. Shadow Shaman Wards dropped. That's gonna be a free tier 1 tower. Both teams just posturing, trading towers here. Nothing much to be said as far as engagements go. Often the case with these Tinker games, for better or for worse, is that it's very hard to, you know, play and like aggressively team fight into the Tinker with all the March of the Machines. But Liquid are going to force the issue. They're going to look to threaten high ground here. They're not really looking to commit to Rax here, but they are trying to force Keen Gaming to TP themselves back home. Yeah, also they want to chip some damage with Eidolons. Also, this yep. is a siege, siege creep wave. Yep. They're going to get it down to close to half health here, even. Miracle's just going to keep chipping away at them using that slide of Fist, too. <laughs> They're glyphing glyph it. it. Yeah, that's going to get them an extra probably couple hundred damage off. Really nicely done. And Tinker's one of those heroes that can just zone them away. So yeah, constant. The chip damage from Tinker and Ember is significant, and they're even right-clicking this tower now. It's less than half health. They've almost gotten a tier three tower. Oh, what a play from Liquid. Yeah. Also putting the Eidolons here on the high ground to have vision so Tinker can spam the rockets, Miracle a couple of times going in, yeah. keeping that catapult alive. And uh, I mean, you have ways to deal with the split push right now. That's a Tinker with the Blink Dagger, BOTs. Good luck. There's the Kaya queued up as this next time. You asked, you talked about the variation in the talents. He went for the cast range first at level 10. So we won't be seeing the spell amp. We'll see what he gets at 15. Well, GPM talents are always, uh, you know, the, the hot thing in Dota 2. But as far as Tinker goes, he doesn't have too much of a problem getting gold usually. So he may consider that mana cost, mana loss reduction, especially if you're looking at stacking that with the Crystal Maidens one. Phantom Assassin has enough gold for the Battle Fury, which will increase her farm. Two good Observer Wards from Keen, but uh, they're not playing around that area. Yeah. Even their previous Observer Wards around this shrine, they didn't end up playing around all too much. Kanaka's got a haste rune. He's swooping through. He's just hunting, seeing what he can find, getting some wards down as well. He's very close to this Tinker. You know, if he finds Tinker, he can definitely solo kill him using those Serpent Wards, which is what he was hoping for. And even just looking for something like a courier snipe using they those seven yep. Nice four staff. Old 11, still in trouble. There's another searing change, and he gets picked off. 
He could have used Astral on him and uh, his Blink Dagger would be ready to try to Blink out. Kaka. Really feels like he's just trying to snipe a courier or something on Kaka. He's going to come Kaka out soon. He's just wandering around the map. He's going to run into... Well, that's his teammate, Old Chicken. That courier is not going to get scattered by this observer, what it looks like. It's going to fly on the other side of the tree, so... I mean, they can't even split push anymore because you're playing against Thinker, who has a Blink Dagger. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this effort to try to make something happen on the Tier 2 tower, it's not going to happen. Old Chicken, he's being blinked on. Pops the blur. TP's coming in from Miracle. Dark's here, but uh, it's just a straight-up easy kill. Miracle's gotten one. He's going to get a second. Dark's in no man's land. He's trying to help his buddy out. You can't blame him. Just doing support things, but he ends up dying with his carry. And GH at mid lane. 11. Has 11 got the backup? Tinker's TPing in. I don't think you're going to take this fight. King Gaming have already lost two. Yeah, I was about to say. King Gaming seem a bit... Uh, a bit lost and unsure what to do playing into this Tinker and Ember with their global mobility right now. It's so difficult to move around the map and they desperately need BKBs. Phantom Assassin has a battlefield straight into BKB, OD bot, uh, two saving items, Blink Dagger and a four staff. And now we're gonna see one, two, two for two. Ember's just In dead. In terms of uh, bounty runes, <laughs> 11 once again, he's just dead. Gets the bounty rune, but and they're chasing the bottom lane. Yep. They're just getting kills wherever they go, it feels like at this point. Kaka is gonna get the blink out, but still being chased by Weeha. Is he gonna go blinking forward with this one? One more laser missiles. It's gonna be enough damage to get the kill. Weeha on that Tinker. Some fast fingers casting and Yeah, he decided kills. to go for that uh, mana cost uh, mana loss nice. reduction. Combine that with the Kaya. Come on, G H. He's he's telling G H if you don't do it, you're gonna get the Matu treatment. This could be your last tournament with Liquid if you don't get me that aura, he says. I'm the new star of this team, says Weeha. He's got the Aether Lens queued up next. This Tinker is going to be a huge problem for King Gaming, who just don't have any heroes that really deal with Tinker. Tower gets denied, but that's a tower down, which means Shrines are now open for the taking. They don't have the best the tower damage, though. I don't think they're going to go for shrines. They could Just pop idolons, idolons. maybe. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's it. They also don't have the great uh, Roche lineup. Tinker in the trees, just throwing spells out. And King Gaming, smoking up, going to the enemy side of the map. What are they up to here? They've got wards. They're actually going to run to this Tinker. Weeha blinks forward. Oh, unfortunate for him. He ran right into a smoke gank. Kaka's trying to get some wards down, but Liquid are very quick to respond and are coming in looking for revenge. The Sleep also caught the Axe and he's now going to get Searing Chain, so it looks like multiple revenge kills. They may have lost the Tinker, but Miracle gets a cleanup kill with GH as two for one. When you go for this kind of a build on OD, you want to take the fights. Blink Dagger early on, plus a four staff to saving abilities, but uh, they were not that active. No ward was planted, and I think Kuro, once again, getting a bit baited out by where these wards might be. He's uh, just used three sentries, and unfortunately, he'll probably look back at this replay and realize, oh, well, maybe it's just here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> will he use the fort? <laughs> no, there's, there's no ward, Kuro. I need to break it to you. And it's both Shaman and AA holding onto those observed wards, not getting a chance to plant them. That's one of those ones where the, your mid or carry dies, and they're like, oh, I, it's warded, that's why I died. I just, <laughs> there's no war. It's like... Dude, that's why I pull I pull that whenever I play. I, get, I die in some random location. Or you can just rage ping it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, they have a ward. And then when they my, my support drops a sentry... I think someone should buy wards. <laughs> yeah. No, I just do the one. They have a ward to see me, and then my support buys the sentry. like, there's no war. I was like, oh, it expired. It must have just expired. It was there before. They're still defending the tier one tower on the bottom lane. We have playing uh, a bit, uh, a bit aggressive. Let's see if he wants to TP out once again. He's going for it into the trees at least. Oh, that's a CM. Old eleven. Who's fishing? He saw Three it coming. TPs. Yeah, they're all coming in. Old eleven doesn't have a blink. He looks like he should be done for here. They're going to look to chase him through these trees, but it wasn't really the ideal TP. They don't actually have the chase. The Ember Spirit stayed up top, so old eleven will get out. Tower at exactly 10%. Is it deniable at 10% or does it have to be one health below? I always forget. 
<laughs> 180. <laughs> I, I've one, seen it before. 179. I think 180. Uh, uh, deniable? Yes, no. I don't know. It's one of those things. I, I've, I've, I've seen it before, and I remember thinking about it, but yeah. Kura. BKB, old chicken, pops it just to make sure he can get the kill, and they've actually caught a second with the cold, but the black hole is there. This is going to kite the BKB, and Freezing Field is popped. This is going to absolutely destroy them. The BKB still from old chicken. He wants the Crystal Maiden. He's not going to get him with all that bonus armor. GH survives through it all. The Chilling Touch, not even enough damage. GH, he's alive. He gets procced in the cold feet, but it's an absolute disaster for King Gaming. And as now they're going to pop a shrine. That, I mean, they took the fight without OD. Yeah, he was just hitting up some jungle. Well, well, that's not looking good. Enigma with the BKB and the black hole, nothing to stop it with. Great black hole, yeah. And that fight went so badly for them. GH with the double bracer. That's why he survives through it all. Never doubt the bracers. HP talent, Ogre Axe on top of it, almost 2,000 HP. No. So, down the lanes Liquid go again. They don't have the best building push. You mentioned Roche and building's a similar story, but you know, give them some time and some Eidolons. They'll they'll get the job done. Try and being focused down now as well. And they don't struggle to kill heroes, you know. That's one way to break high ground is just kill the heroes then. There's no one left to defend the base. Yeah, with the, the Skaya and the level 15 talent, rearm level 3, only 220 mana. Let's see it. How much with the CM? 183. I did the math in my you head. You sure? Yeah, 100%. All right. I'll trust you on that one. Yeah. I've seen it before. What about Arcane Rune? Arcane Rune, that gets it down to 152. You're a thinker player, huh? Yeah. Big, big time. Shame <laughs> on you. <laughs> I don't have. I'm just bullshitting you. I, don't I know. For, for clue, man. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played Tinker I in like that four years. <laughs> Let's see it. Come on, CM. CM's getting there. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be. They're they're controlling this game, you know. Let yeah, your Tinker GP, have some I'm fun. GP, Let come on. Your Tinker have some fun. Come on, GA. You got GPM. GPM. <laughs> Oof, you're kicked, GH. See you later. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you. Yeah. Usually, there's 120 gold on level 15 CM. Got yeah, more, it's, it's and she's gonna so scale with the items. Already has that blink yeah. dagger, will get her closer to BKB. Also, again, they don't have anything to stop it with besides uh, Axe blinking in and using a call. Yeah. Map being controlled by Liquid. All these lanes constantly pushed out by Tinker. Went for the Yasha and Kaya. Getting that value movement speed. I had to dunk somewhere. Max. It also upgrades the mana cost and mana loss reduction. Yeah. Also the spell amp. Roshan being scattered out by a nice blast, but not the case as Team Liquid have other ideas in mind. Well, 20 on the Ember Spirit and oh, some of the other key levels. Tinker approaching level 20 as well. Oh, they're forcing the BKB on the bottom lane from Phantom oh, Assassin. That's big. Get that one down nice and low. That's gonna really cripple King Gaming's late game if they only have a five second BKB into heroes like, I mean, all these heroes, Tinker, ET, CM, Ember. The problem is if they can't find any openings, uh, they're not gonna kill the buildings. Like, they can't siege. Well, they're just keeping they King kills. Gaming bottled up, but King Gaming is still getting some okay farm. The same time, what do King Gaming do? Because they're gonna get kited anytime they go in, and their BKBs are gonna probably be somewhat wasted if they're not careful. They're playing from behind right now. They can feel it that they're way weaker. Yeah. So now they just want to recover. I think this benefits Keen Gaming way more. Also, there's Arcane Rune on the top. And Dota Plus doesn't mind Keen Gaming's position. They're only giving, giving them a 44% win probability. Earlier, it was giving them a very favorable one. So Dota Plus likes, likes their PA. That's what I'm seeing. Well, he doesn't like the old Tinker. We haven't seen much of Tinker in quite a while. and. I mean, who, who does like Tinker? Let's be real here. Zeus, Only Spectre, Tinker plays. Clockwork, <laughs> yeah. Storm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, do you like having Tinkers in your game? I guess if you're one of those mid players who plays Storm or whatever, and, or Zeus, then maybe you don't mind it. 
I'll Tinker is the hero that sh when you have it on your team, he takes a lot of uh, resources from the map because he's everywhere. And if he yeah. dies because of the network, he feeds a lot, a lot of gold to the enemy team. As someone who plays a lot of support, having a Tinker on your team, it just feels like the game just drags out. And you, you're like, you don't have a job. Your Tinker's just going out, pushing out lanes. And you're like, well, what do I do? Like, especially in pubs where there's not many coordinated moves around the map. If you have a good position for or an off lane with the Blink yeah. Dagger Shadow build, you, 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 just, can, you hug them. Yes. You just play with them. And the, they're not even taking the Roach. It's going to take them a lot of time to actually kill the Roach. They don't have the, any Desos on Ember Spirit, so they just want to go for kills. That's the name of the game. Enigma just got GPM Talon as well. I think that's what they were trying to do. Get all of this Gank gold. the Ancients. Get that GPM talent going on yep. Enigma. <laughs> smoke gank ancients. All the eleven. He needs to get out and get out soon. The smoke gank is coming his way. He dodges the spirit. Has a blink TP. He goes. Oh, he blinked into spirit. He goes for BKB TP. Whoa. <laughs> Sometimes the next level play is the most <laughs> dumb one you can do. <laughs> yeah, he could have just gone for the TP. He could have just blinked to the left. To the left. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You blink towards the spirit, but if you're too smart, you're gonna look dumb. Oh. Caught Shaman. Easy pickings. Tough, tough game for him. And there's a double damage rune, so as hard as Roche can be, this is one of those. Yeah, that's gonna help them. Yeah. With double damage, they can't do it. Enigma, should summon some Eidolons. Oh. Doesn't look like he's got him up. Remember, with double damage, wants to fight. Old 11. Gets absolutely annihilated, and the rest of the team has to be careful not to get caught as well. Liquid is happy to get these pickles one by one. A lot of pings from B. They want to get this Roche. Man, take Roshan with the magic damage. He's not quite the Roshan of old where magic doesn't hurt him. He's only got 55% magic resist. Big A ult if he can snipe the Tinker. Ooh. A little bit more damage would do. Is yep. that level, level 2 ult? It's going to keep Tinker in the fountain for a little while, though. Oh, he, he's doing the math. Yeah. Oh, one more tick, and it would be enough. That stops Roshan from happening, Ticker. Yeah. At least for now. Also, this combo is extremely deadly. Elder Titan just following them with the spirit, reducing their basic uh, magic resistance. Yeah. yeah, this was one of the old, cool, old school comp Tinker combos. ET plus Tinker. Shaman's going to buy back to try and contest Roshan. Or at least deter Liquid from going from it. This playing support against Tinker and also Ember is not looked fun for Kaka. He's in that blur. Old Chicken just getting whatever harass he can out. Old Chicken is still farmed. Level 20 has that Deso plus armor corruption. One team fight's all it takes. Old 11 was goes in. They get the Blink Hex off with the Serpent Wards. They found the pick here. Can they finish off? The kill, it looks likely the black hole comes into counterplay, but they've they lost got Miracle. Him. Ember's dead, the ET dead as well. Mind control still dying to the physical damage. They lose the PA though in the Midnight Pulse Black Hole. The damage is just too much, and the Tinker's gonna clean up likely. The BKB is all gone. OD's got absolutely nothing for Weeha. He drops the Sands Eclipse just on the CM, but he's not even gonna get the kill. And it's Tinker cleaning up the fight. Ember Spirit did not have a buyback. He would gladly buy back here, get the Aegis for himself. Bye. GH jukes it. Weeha finishes off the kill. And meanwhile on the bottom lane, Catapult doing some unhealable damage on the range axis. Roshan still at half HP. There's gonna be another kill for V. Forces an OD buyback. Oh. Tried to... Hurricane Pike doesn't stop that TP anyways, right? No, no, he just tried to use a... Use a Hurricane Pike to cut down the trees and uh, find the Tinker. Oh, okay. save some of the health of that but he had to buy back and liquid in the Roshan pit they go oh, they've got all the summons they have no black hole here but they feel very confident with King Gaming having so many heroes on the sidelines it's a full hex of thinker brutal that's how you can play against the uh, BKBs now as well and these BKBs were used a couple of times already eight seconds on axe ice blast is gonna go flying in I imagine but it's gonna be too late Aegis still on the ground. Ember wants it. Oh, 
force this Ember to play very aggressively. We've seen Miracle just wanting to go dive in on the supports on the back lines with his BKB to get these kills, so... Aegis suits his playstyle perfectly. Tinker's just not a good Aegis carrier as well. One of the worst Aegis carriers in the game as far as core heroes go. I mean, I would put some transformation heroes. Right. Like Dragonite. Sometimes Sven. Oh. TB. Yeah, old chicken. Two crits in a row. Kuroki just disappears. Nice. And uh, GH just disappears. Well, they're finding some kills on the dire side, but they're also, well, losing some kills as Miracle takes out the OD. That's a dieback. And Miracle wants more. He's there's, trying to stop Old Eleven from me again. Yep. Here BKB. comes the BKB from Old Eleven charging on forward. They get the Tinker. They want more as well. Kaka needs a way out, but he can't deal with the BKB of Miracle. Byron in forward. Catches the back line. That's going to be a dead A8 now as well as Old Eleven did get TP out. Yeah, but that Shiva's guard, Ember Spirit, can easily go in, provide a lot of vision for his team. Sadly, Enigma did not have a black hole. There was one cooldown for another 20 seconds. And these BKBs are dropping low. That's going to be the big problem for King Gaming this game. The PA has to do as much damage as possible during that BKB and does feel like Old Chicken's going to be relying on some of the lockdown of heroes like Shadow Shaman and Axe to get kills in these fights. Everything's at now. And we're getting close to level 25. Miracle still with the Radiance queued up. What's he going to go for? Gets the Remnant charge. Restore time. It's kind of a no-brainer on Ember Spirit. Unless you're playing against some Maybe Phantom Lancers where you want to have the extra charge. Oh, Young 11. He's got the BKB. Doesn't maybe want to pop it. Needs to be careful not to get hexed up though. Ooh, GH. Spirit providing the vision for Tinker if he wants to blink in and get that hex going in a couple of seconds. Yeah, just looking to get out it seems. Tinker still dead for a couple more and only just now respawning. Dark had enough. He just bought a gem for himself. He wants to be able to devour, plant some. They also need some uh, Tinker Vision. Like Tinker Wards here. Yep. Here. Those high ground jungle spots that are so common. What's the play going to be? Axe getting a load of salt. What's a way to get rid of some of these pesky spells like the Searing Chains? Oh, they lack damage, so. Crystal Maiden gets level 20, the attack speed oh. queues up Deso. That's how you siege. That's how you adapt in a game where you are lacking stuff. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds meme but. Also, Enigma is going for AC. So that's going to be a lot of tower damage if nice. they decide to just right click it. He's going back to the Octarine now, though. Changed his mind. But he's only sitting on 7 armor. Like, yeah. He can easily be blown. Up by a Phantom Assassin. Phantom Assassin also closer to level 25. Drop the Serpent Wards down bottom. They want to get this tier 2 tower, but that means no Serpent Wards for a potential team fight up top. Not that Liquid necessarily can siege all too well, though. It's definitely one of the concerns. They will go for the Blink Call in on Miracle. Can they burst him down with the Hex? They think about it, but they don't want to group up for that BKB Black Hole. Yeah, still a minute left on that Aegis. No. Double catapult wave will deal some damage. Yeah, they can't overcommit onto that Aegis. Nice plus. With the dagger. They snipe him. Has three random charges, BKB and uh, Shiva's guard. They I won't. think they're fine with this. They also took the bottom tier two tower with Shadow Shaman wards. Won't be able to kill him a second time, but Old Chicken gets some help, gets the low soul from the high ground. Team player, Mr. Eleven. A lot of saves now. OD with that pike, blink. Also Lotus Orb plus a Glimmer Cape. That should keep them alive. Kuro just running forward. Gets caught by a blink hole. Kuro completely out of position for this one. He's maybe trying to set up a black hole, but Keen Gaming not grouping up and Kuro. Or maybe he was just uh, microing the spirit. Yep. Sometimes and do accidentally, that. <laughs> yeah. he, Well, no, he thought he was microing the spirit. Turns out it was his, his hero. They have the vision of, of Ember. Yeah. There it is. They get the blink hex here. He needs some help. 
Where's backup? The blink call is there. Where's mind control? He's going to blink BKB black hole. He's going to go for it. But on the outside is the OD. What can he do? The Astral isn't there to save the act. He's just sitting there. He doesn't have any good targets. The CM with the BKB freezing field is doing all too much. And on the high ground, Weeha on the Tinker is destroying them from up here. He eventually gets Hex. He could be in some trouble now. The OD right click him down. Weeha goes for the recall. Rearm, but doesn't get it off. And yeah, he was Tinker way too deep away from his team. There was no Ember Spirit, no Elder Titan, Crystal Maiden, and Enigma. Yeah, you can see the pings. We're standing here. He just blinked into base. That's yeah. that's actually really big for Keen Gaming. They got a lot of gold from that, and uh, still their tower damage is extremely limited. Roche may respawn in two and a half minutes, so Keen Gaming not in uh, any hurry right now. Yep. And for Liquid, you got to treat this late game black hole as your big game winning spell. Play around double black holes. Play around Roches. Gets things like refresher shards. Uh, getting jumped on there. Not gonna be enough to bring him down. Idol on damage was picked up, so you talk about lack of push. That's gonna bring some more to the table. And Dark, uh oh. That CM right click damage. With that attack speed. They also took the gem from him. Oh. So that's pretty big. Kura. Pick off after pick off all over the place. This game is just feeling very discombobulated. As is often the case with Tinker games, you know, th that's the that's what's so annoying about playing support with a Tinker in your team. You just end up running in around the map and not sure where to go. And well, hey, another pick the up. gem. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> insanely good. OD hits level 25 from that. Also has enough money to buy the hex right now. Bounty runes are spawning. Also tomes of knowledges. Shadow shaman. Hex is such an important level 20. item this game for yeah. them. Yeah. Also shadow shaman has BKB queued up. So four BKBs on their side. Did he get? He didn't get the shackle duration though. Often you see the shackle duration with that BKB. He wants the to play more around the serpent wards. Bit surprised by this. Yeah, they have nothing to stop the blink uh, BKB unless they use a black hole. Huh? Once Shadow Shaman gets it, and then the, he has it right now. Yeah, normally this BKB build is around the shackle duration. That's what we see like players like DJ go in the full position charm. I don't I don't personally agree with the ward health. They're not the wards are kind of ignored in these fights, if anything. If you're sieging it's maybe nice, but the way there we go. Triple stifling dagger now on the PA. Abyssal Blade coming up soon. Doesn't want to give up having buyback for it though. The problem is Team Liquid does not have a single Item to keep Kura. Tinker alive. Not no again. No four steps, no glimmer caves. He has a BKB queued up for himself. That's not gonna save him from Axe blinking in or the Basher on PA. Yeah. Yes, the PA Vanguard doesn't have the money for the Abyssal Blade recipe just yet with buyback. And OD, speaking of buyback, has buyback with Hex. Tinker just purchased. BKB, so now buyback on him. It's one of the better heroes to have buyback. They jump in. And hype it up. They get the kill. They get the catch. Mind control counterplays with the BKB black hole. That take takes out the axe. He's going to immediately buy back. Old chicken. His BKB's worn off, but he jumped on the Tinker. Tinker's dead. Tinker's got no buyback, but the PA dead in the process. But Keen Gaming, they're disciplined. They're playing with the buybacks themselves. Four stop away. Will pull GH out. So the Aeon disc is going to proc, but he's got an ice blast on him. And one or two more right clicks from Yi is going to finish him off. The Astral is there. Buyback from the Ember Spirit. They want to take this fight, but Old Eleven's going with the Blink Call. GH still alive a little bit longer. Gets one last Frostbite off. That's a dead OD. And Ember's going on to the next target. It's going to be Dark on the AA, who gets picked off as Miracle is flying huge on forward. He's already remnant. found a new one. It's Old Eleven. If he gets this kill, it's absolutely huge because there is no buyback with the Lotus Orb, but the Old Eleven can't do anything about this one. It's going to be a dieback. That's a full team wipe. Uh, Yi Ooh. had the Force Staff ready there and the Blink Dagger. He could have closed the gap or just used a Force Staff on Phantom Assassin plus Astral to keep her alive, and she could have reset, maybe even popped the... Ah, they don't have the Shrine, but at least she could have TP'd out and uh, save her. Tinker does not have a buyback yet, only needs uh, 120 gold. With this tower, they'll have it, though. So, the fight is forced here, and... Axe dying, it's the BKB Black Hole, there's just no answer to it, and Mind Control catching out two, kills the Axe, and basically waste the entire PA BKB. Old Chicken goes charging in, looking for some bashers on Miracle. If he gets this kill, it's huge, but doesn't have the damage to do so. Finds Kuro instead. Old Chicken. They need to save him. Yeah. 
Can they keep him alive? He's being ignored. He's going to be brought down. Mind Control finishes him off. On the back lines, it's Miracle. Miracle's got no buyback himself. The Ice Blast with the chilling, chilling touch. They lose him. Everyone's dying. They lose Phantom Assassin, but they kill Ember Spirit. Uh, Watch Tinker. out for Tinker's respawn, yeah. though. Top lane is pushing in. That's uh, Where's way Tinker going to go? Is Tinker going to go for these kills? No, he's playing it safe. The word's in. We ha don't throw this game. Say Team Liquid. <laughs> Now that the Ember died, this sets them back uh, quite a lot because uh, they will reset on Phantom Assassin. Also, she needs that uh, Satanic to lower the duration on those uh, stuns, on those slows. Yep. We have, will have buyback for the next fight, but several cores now playing without it. Mind control. Let's go for Boots of Travel. We'll see what he gets next. He's a refresher shard. We'll refresh your orb in the, the cards. We'll have to wait and see. Has the extra Eidolons now, so... Conversions everywhere. Mid lane, these two supports, they know there's no PA if they want to take this fight. What's Liquid going to do? They're kind of baiting GH here in the mid lane. He's got that Desolator. He's about to hit level 25. Smoke. Yep. You know, people like to group heroes like CM into that support category. And GH says no. Blink call it an illusion! Oh no, and now the BKB CM with the Desolator, he's just going to look to right click at the OD, the OD's dying in the black hole, GH doing all the damage, GH, he says, I'm the carry now, bitches! A keen game and getting absolutely destroyed by the GH Crystal Maiden, he blinks forward, he's still right clicking them! Oh, Who he needs Ember Spirit? Lotus Orb. GH in the trees with the freezing field. They're losing Tinker here. Tinker can't afford to die. He does have a buyback. Nice sand. He's with the CM. It's GH once again. Forces out defensive Astral. GH getting very, very low. He's being chased down by the AA. He will end up going down. That's the carry down. You've got to be careful, Liquid. You've lost GH on the CM. Also, Tinker buying back. Can they chase him down? Oh, that bait by Illusion because you can't really tell if it's Enigma or Illusion. It's really harder to recognize it because it's uh, extremely dark. And the uh, Roche just spawned. That's the only second Roche. GH, Jesus by the way, did 6k damage, and most of that was physical damage. <laughs> he was he did not do much damage with that freezing field. Blink Hex. They found Miracle. Is the call going to be there to fold up? Miracle gets off the BKB, immediately charges forward with this one, takes out the Shadow Shaman. Both supports are down for two minutes without buyback. And the Eidolon, the boys, the Grapey boys are in the pit, taking out Roche, and here's GH. Wow, that clap. <laughs> Mind control. He wishes. Give CM the Aegis. Give it to GH. Oh, he wants to pick up something. He made the. GH? Yeah, GH. He, this he is made space. Give it to GH. In the he's, he's the carry. Yeah. Oh, miracle. Come on, give me something. All right, that's the cheese. Come on, yeah. All right, that's acceptable. There's no point for Tinker to hold the cheese because if they catch him, he's probably going to die and doesn't have even a space. They have no supports for this high ground defense, which is a big problem when you think about what Shaman brings to the table with all his control. And that's a full minute. Well, to the high ground we go. CM, right clicking away. Yeah, that's how you do it. You, you right click one of the Raxes at the time to lower the armor on both buildings if the creeps are hitting it that's gonna be two sides and on the bottom lane they still have a melee barracks still 40 seconds without both supports oh that's the aeon disc being proc looking to steal some in here is the od but he gets hexed up is there gonna be a follow-up hex he gets charged in we with the bkb the chain hex is there and od is down that's a dieback miracle getting very low the bkb pa but gets black hole mind control here to save the day and miracle he survives through it all the axe is just nowhere to be seen there was no openings available they're going for the gg they're going for the throne and old 11 he he gets the dunk, but it's an Aegis on Miracle, so it doesn't even matter. Now he's being hexed up. GH goes charging in with a freezing field, and that's going to be it. Liquid have claimed game two with a 2-0 win. They do so in style. And this is what we want to see. We want to see some new stuff. Uh, this Crystal Maiden with the Deso. Tinker being picked at the TI.